Del Maxim says, how is everyone? Hey, everybody. Now we have sound. Ovi Bros is the Eggman. I thought it was Ovivaporous. There, I know there's an Oviparous, 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 Oviviparous. I wish I knew what you were talking about. They have, viviparous is when they have live young, Oviparous is when they have eggs. It's a biology term, Rihanna would know. Right, Rihanna? Are these Hanea? This one is. For this sure. For sure this one is. Woo! I need to uh make in some adjustments, that's all folks. I have a scarf on today. I was wearing a scarf until a couple seconds ago. Can I ask how to feel? Mariana said what do you know? Dangling, hello. I missed you and the study dollars since we've last visually seen each other's comments on this board. Visually seen. Well. I guess blind people see in a way when they touch stuff. That's for sure, Hanea. Here, I'll back out so you can see. <laughs> Let me tell you what, Eleanor was really playing Ariana Grande. It, it's my jam. It's your jam? Yep, it's pretty good. She was, I was, I was listening to um, a podcast while I was doing my thing, and, um... What, what's your thing? Rinsing samples. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I take my headphones out, I walk over there, and she is just blaring. Um, <laughs> I had it. I love me harder. <laughs> Jesus. The man of the Moving this out, move it around. Oh, oh. Del Maxim likes Ariana. Which one is your jam? Love Me Harder. Love the Me best Harder. one. <laughs> and NT is pretty good. It's a solid one. There, now they can see you dance. <laughs> That's what they really wanted, I'm sure. Uh. Did you do your TEDx yet? I filmed Monday and it's broadcasted Thursday. Oh shit. Sorry. <laughs> um, do you need a, do you need like a curling iron? Are you just gonna keep your hair straight? I don't know if I wanna curl it, but could you do something to where it doesn't look like I just brushed it? Do you want the ends curled so it's bouncy? Maybe. If if we curl it with a one inch and then we brush it out, it'll just look bouncy. Okay. Yeah. When do you want to do that? What time is your film thing? I film at 2. Okay. I can get here early in the morning. What time do you wake up? Or what time is your first class? I have Cal till 8.50 a.m. Okay. And then what do you have? Then I'm like, open. Oh. Uh, okay, then I'll get here by like 9 and then we can either do it in the lab or just do it in the room. I don't know. I guess I can't get here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be a little <laughs> Del's favorite song is God is a Woman. Oh, God is a Woman? That's a good one. Ooh. I haven't heard the new album yet. Let me tell you what. The new album is really good. My favorite is Just Like Magic or what is it? Uh, 35 plus 34 or uh, the music video for God is a Woman. Dangling, I decided I'm going out with friends today, let natural selection do its thing, you know? I went out Which with Which part of natural selection? The part where you're exposed to coronavirus, or...? <laughs> yes. Um... I went out with my roommate for her 21st yesterday, but we sat away from everyone else and we sanitized our table, and I know it was bad to go out anyway, but uh, she needed a designated driver, and I, I think rather get exposed to COVID than let her drive or walk around in the agreement when she puts her finger in that galaxy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you have makeup or are you wearing makeup? I probably won't wear makeup. You don't have dark circles, so you're fine. Yay! 
I used to do my friend's makeup for like homecoming and stuff like that. And it was fun. Mallory got turned. I did not get turned. I'm a little funny. <laughs> she had a little sash though. It was so funny. And um, Rihanna would know what I'm talking about, but COVID is like a safe sex experiment. Can you explain that a little further? Because <laughs> I don't understand it. Mallory doesn't know what safe sex is, so <laughs> put it into context for her. I just don't understand like the, the comparison. <laughs> I'm a little lost. Rihanna, you saw the pics. Listen, if someone around me is acting goofy, I'm gonna act goofy. My outfit was fun. Yeah, I popped out the leather skirt. Um, what can I say? It was a wild night for sure. It ended at a brisk 10.30 p.m. And uh, I went and passed out and then re-downloaded Tinder. <laughs> and then passed out again. <laughs> re-downloaded Tinder. <laughs> yeah. Well, they were all talking She made some about good decisions. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> A stash of what? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh oh. This one is... Gosh, you guys never give me time to ban. I was literally clicking on it. Did he just say Mallory doesn't know what say? He did just say that. <laughs> he did just say that. Spam is getting smarter. I know. And I'm not quick enough to click on it because everyone else knows how to use the computer faster. People are like, I will be safe, but they don't know if their friends are wearing masks. Um, I know my friends are wearing masks because they don't leave their apartment ever. And they won't ask me up there. And my friend is a really good um mask wearer. Why is this coming apart? Huh, that's interesting. That's interesting. I like how it looks bulbous. It has the Rima Portula on both ends. Get the next one, Rihanna. Mark my words. Mallory, make sure you use condoms. Um, we're not gonna make jokes about this. And a mask. <laughs> yeah, use a mask. Except for a birthday. Yeah, she made a um an exception for her birthday because she's had I've known her for the last few years every birthday something awful happens so she was like I'm going to get smashed on my 21st I don't care what happens and I mean it, after, I couldn't go into one of the bars that they went into because I'm not 21 yet so I just dropped them off and then they walked back um, she could not walk down the hallway in the video that they sent me last that was very funny. The mask face stays on. And the socks. Always keep the socks on. That's my older sister advice from a younger sister. We don't want your feet to get cold. Dude, my feet have been getting cold so cold recently. And I don't have the little COVID toes thing. I don't have them. I you have, don't have what? I don't have COVID toes. Or toes turn purple. My mom, she hears Governor Cuomo or Cuomo or however you say his name. Say Cuomo? Something. Cuomo? Are you talking about the one from New York? Yes. Cuomo. She loves him. She loves him so much. Like, yeah, apparently your toes turn like purple or red because it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Nobody believes you in the chat, by the way. That's okay. You don't have to believe me. It's just something that some, he said on the news one time. And, um,. Point being, I just have bad circulation in my body. COVID toes. I don't have COVID toes. Only my toes got COVID. Fake news. Rihanna called Governor. Dangling said it's true. She always defends me. She's seen it. She's my ride or die. What? She said she's seen it. <laughs> oh, you've seen it? <laughs> Condams. Del, you're a little late. 
You seen her toes? Yeah. Dang's actually seen my toes. They spend a lot of time looking at each other's toes yeah. offline. <laughs> in a side chat, we do. Did you guys see the ballots got recounted in four states? I did not. I and you lost. <laughs> <laughs> King. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go through the, the. Um, I wouldn't want them to recount. I would like hide. Cause it's so embarrassing to have the whole world celebrate when you lose. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> hey, we got a new follow. First name and last name has joined the Diatom army. You do. That darn voter fraud. <laughs> Abolish the Electoral College. I am in favor of getting rid of the Electoral College. Not for the reasons you probably think. What's the reason that you think? It's racist. Really? Yeah. What is it? What? What is it? <laughs> no, I mean it was developed for ra racist purposes. It's an agreement they made in the southern part of the U.S. and they to put it together. To represent slave states so that they couldn't abolish slavery. But also so that once they started allowing slaves, to, well, black people to vote, that um, their votes were less meaningful. Because they couldn't have direct representation and they were always basically in places where they were outnumbered. I feel like when it comes to the president, the president is supposed to represent the people, not land. So the, you know, like, I don't know. So I feel like a popular vote is what it should be. So well, a popular vote would be better. Large states gain to gain constitutional approval. So is this transition for my slide too exciting for TEDx? Should I go something more subtle? Let me go back. It's rooted in racism. Yeah. That's my foot. Center those pictures and put the big one in the middle. You haven't worked on that side. Okay. I'm trying to figure out. So I should go with something more subtle. You really? Mm -hmm. And it's good that more people are around learning some of that stuff. Okay. Like abortion law is kind of wild. <laughs> They're all concurring. One person is um, um, not agreeing, but um, I don't know what you mean by you really think Rhode Island would have joined the new country if their votes never mattered. I feel like Rhode Island has a fairly big population and they're a small state. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's, it's not the size of the state, it's the size of the population in the state. But, um, Generally speaking, it doesn't do what people think it does anyway. Like, oh, you're supposed to make it so they're forced to go to these states and cater to these smaller states, but the smaller states that it feeds, nobody ever goes to them. Nobody ever goes to North Dakota to campaign. Nobody goes to South Dakota to campaign. Nobody goes to Maine to campaign because those places don't actually get any representation anyways because their votes are always gonna fall in the same category where they, you know, I just watched Vosh's podcast on this. I love Vosh. Vosh man. Vosh man. You need to... Who the heck is Tara Ross? If Tara Ross is stupid, I'm gonna block you. The case for the electoral college. Mm. Do you watch Hasanabi? Um, a little bit. Not as much as Bosch. Uh, if you want to talk about the, I guess you could argue about the historical, the exact, exact circumstance of the historical background to the Electoral College, but uh, regardless, it does not change the fact that it does not accurately represent the will of the people when the people in one state's votes are like four times as um, powerful speaking in representative terms than someone in another state. Just saying. If they want to see like real change that's going to benefit their state, they should be doing that on like a state level. And worrying about their representatives in like 
the House of Representatives and the Senate. Yeah, the problem is that the the districts where people vote are so gerrymandered in all the states that basically nothing can ever happen unless you know people move into new houses uh, in those areas. And the gerrymandering is actually worse than the Electoral College itself, but um, we can't do anything about gerrymandering. So, because of the gerrymandering. The very, uh, the premise that the Electoral College is false is a false premise. Okay, take that away. You know, if you want to pretend that that doesn't exist, that's fine, but that does not correct the fact that it doesn't accurately represent the majority. Like, I'm not sure what you are trying to argue here. If you want to just poke at one point, you can, that's fine. Gerrymandering is awful. I think, have you played the gerrymandering game? There's a game? Yeah. <laughs> is it awful? Uh, you have to, like, find ways to <laughs> gerry. It's like a game where you have to find ways to gerrymander a state so it's not obvious, but it's, um... But it, like, gets the candidate that you want voted in, you know? <laughs> well, I played it in AP, AP government. It was so fun. I, I couldn't beat uh, it. This does not sound like fun to me. It was funny because it was, like, really satirical about it. That's why it was funny. He was, a uh, He was someone that if you saw him on the street, you'd think he was, like... He was, like, Trump 2020. And... But if you had a conversation with him... He's like, I will never tell you guys my political views. And then he goes on about how the Electoral College is awful for like three hours. And they're like, okay. I mean, your political views don't necessarily need to be tied to the Electoral College. It's a system. That's just an example. That's just an example. Someone give a brief explanation of gerrymandering. I don't want to know what gerrymandering is. Oh, well, the voting districts are, um, are shaped in ways that basically benefit certain voters. So they've reshaped them essentially so that people who typically vote Republican are all like in the same block. So that person will always get a representative from that district. Look up, what's the, it's, there's a really So they end up with these districts that are shaped in, you know, like, like very odd ways. They have to, I think they, the rule is they have to be connected, like you can't have disconnected components for a voting district. It's so like cutting up a, it's like cutting up a state into like really freaking crazy looking, yeah. like this. Yeah. They can't see that, but. <laughs> so they shape them basically to make sure that their candidates are uh, always elected and it, it's not just one side of the political spectrum it's just it's a you know it's challenging because you can't chop up a state into like little squares they're not square shaped right so people have but the the trick is that they actually shape them in ways that only benefit one candidate which is kind of terrible dangling buying a $30 body pillow is not a bad idea I bought a sweatshirt that I should not have paid as much for as <laughs> I did I will not say how much I paid for it it's coming in the mail okay does it have a diatom on it it doesn't but the, I'll, I'll buy that next I'm just gonna waste all my money if Joe Biden gives I know I'm probably not gonna get it but if I get one of those little support money things I'm buying more mouse balls Yawn raised at the party of one <laughs> Hi, Yon. <Yon. laughs> with a party of whoa, one. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, oh, also. Why isn't our little noises happening? Hold on. First name and last name says complete novice here. What's the sample you're looking at? Oh, uh, we're looking at uh, diatoms in the scanning electron microscope. I know we're busy just chatting about other things, but uh, you know. So uh, these things are a type of algae and they live in all water systems and they leave behind a skeleton. They're microscopic organisms, so they're the size of a speck of dust, effectively. But uh, you can see them really well in the scanning electron microscope and can get a good sense of their ultrastructure. And um, this particular sample was collected from Alaska, from Lake Tulik in Alaska. And um, are you hot? Um, yeah, I'm gonna take off the score. What about your toes? I know! I was thinking of taking, them, taking off my shoes and just putting my mittens on my feet. 
Uh, so <laughs> this is the diatom Penea. We don't. Uh, that's the genus that it belongs in, and we're not sure about the species. Uh, it seems close to the diatom Penea linearis, but um, that's what we're sort of inspecting here. So my friend Anna sent me these samples, and we're looking at all of um, this group Penea from these places in Alaska and also um, and from the Himalayas as well. How does the structure give clues to the environment they live in? Or live in? So the structure doesn't really tell you much, but the organisms have an ecology and the structure helps us figure out what the species is, which then tells us which what their ecological preferences are. So Anna's here. Oh, hi Anna. Anna says this has spines. Yeah, this has spines. This is your species from Alaska. This is definitely the Henea. And uh, this is an internal view. I got some nice external view shots a minute ago from a different sample, different specimen, the same sample. Um, it looks like maybe, yeah, it looks like maybe the center is kind of occluded right now. It's got junk on it. Uh, so I'll have to go find another one to get a nice view of the center. I can't really see what's going on in here because of junk. Um, but you can get the shape. That's definitely it. It's bent. That's a key characteristic of Henea is that they are bent. Anna, this is number nine from Alaska. Yeah, sample nine, which is the one that we were looking at last time. She also says good morning. Well, it's one in the afternoon, Anna. She's in Idaho. Unbelievable. So for our West Coast people. It's still morning. Whoa, Anna, whoa, Pacific Plankton speaks Russian. Does she, or does she use Google Translate? Okay. She's a cheater. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. I've learned many bad words in Russian from online gaming. What? That's what Jan said. Jan, you shouldn't say bad words. They're not okay. Okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. So this looks like it does have ghost stray. Shidaho. Oh, dangling. Making me swear out loud. That's not okay. Uh, first and last name wants to know if that's the outside view now. This is an outside view, yeah. So, um, diatoms are three-dimensional objects, and when we look at them in the skinny electron microscope, we look at the insides and the outsides. Now, this one has a bunch of weird junk deposited in the striae, so the striae aren't visible. But um, this zone right in here, which is the central nodule, so there's a sternum right here. Wait, if you don't want to, don't do that. that runs down the middle of the <laughs> valve, and then there's this uh, section here that has a slight inflation. And then um, associated with it on this diatom is a, uh, a set of ghost stri, stri that don't go all the way through the valve, create the appearance of a stri, but there's no holes associated with it. So we refer to it as ghost stri. Yeah. What's happening over here? Hi. You're showing everybody your belly. No, they can't see that high. Oh, maybe not. Are those deposits just dirt? Aren't they clay? Probably clay. Um, exactly. Yeah, we could probably sonicate the crap out of them and get it out of there, but um, then we might break up some of the diatom valves. You know, with a sonicator, you can stick your finger in it and then it hurts for like 20 minutes after. Why were you putting your finger in the I was the telling Eleanor hand? that you can, but then if you do it too much, then your skin will fall off. Mm. <laughs> or can we try it this way? Is that Polish? Anna, are you talking in Polish? <laughs> That's not Russian. She said no. What, can I have a hint? Please. Wait, yes, it's Polish? It looks like it. I tried to learn Polish once. Did you? Yeah, I have flashcards and everything. What happened? 
How I started college. Um, college ruins everything. It truly does. I say you should drop out. Hey! <laughs> and learn Polish. I should drop out and learn <laughs> Polish. <laughs> that's a good idea. That's, you know, a, that's my advice for the day. Drop out and learn Polish. All you students out there going to college, just drop out and learn Polish. It's going to work out for you. The more languages you like halfway learn, the more you can recognize them. They're really different. I don't know how people like confuse... Um, people always confuse Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. They don't look anything alike, like no. they're writing. And they don't sound alike either. No, they don't. What's the reason those deposits don't run down the sternum, as you called it? Uh, there's a little depression associated with the holes. And there's little holes here as well. And in life, uh, there might be some um, cellular material that's actually here in the holes that causes stuff to stick to it. I don't know. But the, it doesn't run down the sternum because that's actually like a positive relief. And these are like little depressions. MTV Live is learning Japanese. Oh, really? Yeah. Beyonce could talk Japanese at them. For a long time, I... Wait, no. Alternatively, I can mix four to five languages in one sentence and good luck figuring it out. <laughs> That's what Kiddo did when he was three. Oh, your boy? It's Anna. Yeah. Anna and I are Facebook friends now. Are you? <laughs> yes, we are. Does I'm she send you pictures of diatoms every day? No, she doesn't. But it doesn't matter. That's a great power. I wish I had that power. But I'm doing Spanish and I'm working hard. Just like English and American uses. Wish I had been raised bilingual. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, if and when I have kids, I'm gonna teach them whatever I know. So then they, because you learn young, they're like a little sponge. When I went over to Dr. Stone's house for dinner, I was teaching Sylvia a little bit of Spanish. She's very interested in it. That doesn't surprise me. You know, she's interested in everything, that's right. MTV Live did it to read manga. Jeez. Pacific Plankton's grandma used to speak to her in Slovenian. That's cool. So for first name, last name, or anybody else, you can see the internal version of the central nodule here. There's no holes associated with the center. The striae are here, and then basically there's no hole that goes through. So there's just a depression on the outside where they've filled in the holes. Kailthon tried to learn Navajo. And first wow, of all, his name Navajo? Really Dude, um, I forget which... Learning Navajo, that's a super challenge right there. There was this one um, Native American language. It sounded so smoky and cool. I saw a video on YouTube of this one guy speaking, and I was like, whoa. That's cool. How were you like? I was like, whoa. 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 MTV. Their name is an MTV, you know. I don't care. We already had this discussion. I said, I because I didn't realize the V wasn't there, and you said there's no V. And I said, I don't care. MTV Live, I love your music videos. If you don't want that, they hate what you are teaching them, don't force them. It's, I don't think it's a matter of hating it or not hating it. If you just use it around them, then that's just what they know, you know? Like, there's this one YouTube couple I watch. The mom, she speaks English, Spanish, German, um, Swiss. No, not Swiss. That's one only one that's English. <laughs> <laughs> Swedish, I think, and um, something else. And she just talks to her daughter and like all that. And her husband speaks English and Korean, and I think that's it. And um, <laughs> they just like speak to her and like two different things. It's great. MT only has to wait six more days. Yeah, you said no. Add a V. What is their name going to be? What What yeah. do you dream your name to be what once the six day? Have? Yeah. What are we gonna call you? Once you can change your name, MT. 
He has a golden face? How do you have a gold face? Stupid. Oh, you can read that. <laughs> what is the purpose of all the holes? Or is it just for structural reasons, or did they actually pass through the material? Uh, most of the holes are ways for the diatom to communicate with the outside world. Uh, so they bring in nutrients or, uh, or uh, ex export waste through them. Um, or in some cases, they use the holes to um, make attachment points. You don't want someone to steal it? Is it going to be that good? I'll steal it. I'll steal it from you. I've been on here yeah. for a long time. Yeah, really. I mean, Mallory's name's not very good either. So My name rocks. She might no steal one knows your, the name of it. She might steal your name. Everybody just calls me Igor. Nobody calls you that. They're always like, I sue... Yeah, and then I say, call me Igor, and they're like, okay, Igor. I sue... <laughs> I sue. Dangling, when are you going to change your username to? I got to keep out for it. I have to know. They don't want to tell. You got to tell. <laughs> Anna says Polish is hard. You never went to school there. I never went to school in Poland either. It's crazy. We have so much in common. So I got all of the bits for this, I believe. This is the Ulnaria that we were imaging last time by accident. This is uh, Hanea. I don't know what this thing is. MTV Live 1 says, hopefully it'll be better than this. It has cinnamon in it. Well, oh my god, are we talking to Cinnamon Toast Ken? What? what? That's crazy. What's happening? Cinnamon Toast Ken. Who? He was a YouTuber. He was popular, and no, I don't know what he does. They were popular on YouTube? Yeah. That's crazy. I hope he didn't do anything bad, and I'm like, I don't know about it. Cinnamon Toast can. Do they like Cinnamon Toast? I don't know what he likes. And where'd they get that name then? Oh, Cinnamon Challenge. Did you know the Cinnamon Challenge? Yeah, when people try to eat a spoonful of cinnamon. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is they powdered cinnamon, not the sugary mix. We've been fine with the sugary mix. Now, when I was, um... Hey, when I was a kid! <laughs> when I was in drama club, we'd always go to Steak and Shake after the shows, and there's this one guy named Kyle, and he was like, he would just ask people, do you want to make a bet? And he'd just pour a bunch of salt into his hand, and everyone's like, what are you talking about? He's like, do you want to make a bet? And you just eventually you'd say, yeah, sure. And he'd just shove the whole thing of salt in his mouth and try not to throw up. <laughs> I tried to do it once. It was not a pleasant experience. I didn't throw up, though. Wait, you shoved <laughs> the stuff from his mouth into your hand? No! <laughs> no, you put a bunch of salt in your hand, like a literal pile, like so much of it's unbelievable. Put a bunch of <clears throat> people damaged. Kyle is such a vanilla American name. Yeah, he used to walk around without shoes on, and he had a ukulele. And, uh, a ukulele? Yeah, I know. It was a hard thing. Jonathan, it sounds like you had a crush on him. Wi-Fi Damon, thank you for joining the Diatom Army. Actually, my ex-boyfriend cheated on me with him, so... <laughs> it's okay, Mallory. Yikes. No, it... <laughs> You got dumped for a guy who eats salt by fistful? <laughs> no. No, I didn't get dumped because of that. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Whenever I tell people that <laughs> Kale Bond says <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to tell the story because people always are like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> it's the funniest thing that's ever happened to me. Uh. <laughs> Damn it, Kyle. Jonathan's game cast. Where'd you come from? That's a new name. So bad. <laughs> Let's see if we can better that way. So funny. It's a pretty good view of it right there. Let's see, let's do 
turn it just a little. Wrong way. No, right way. Good try, though. Jonathan is from New Zealand, and he slipped in here. As opposed to walking. I mean... Little juice here! All right. Jonathan. Now it's a stream. Kiwi Pog. You know what would be good? Since Little Chook is here. Yeah. You know what I want. Go watch Little Chook. She is super cute and draws super cute things. Also, Sara Losaurus is here. Hey, Sarah. How you doing? Jonathan, are you going to be a regular? Should I remember your name? Or I don't want to call you Jonathan. You're going to be game cast. <laughs> what if I said I don't want to call you Jonathan, I just want to call you Phil? <laughs> like Phil Collins. What? Little Chook. Hi, how's everyone? Hi, Little Chook. Can you say hello to your robot for me? Hello. She's a she robot? She probably misses me. She's a robot? Yeah. What kind? Uh, it's Chookbot. What? Every time I go in there, Chookbot flirts with me. That's weird. <laughs> what? Why is that weird? Why do you flirt with a robot? Are you no, gonna do it back? the robot flirts with me. You should, like, call someone about that. Or is Chukbot it, like, an actual robot? Boop boop. Or is it, like... What? It's a, it's a bot. It's a choice bot. Oh, I was okay. playing. <laughs> I love you, Eleanor. It's like that one time, sitting right. Here. You know what? You guys said I was a bad person for screaming when she did something. We were in here. What was it yesterday or a couple of days ago? I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> robots have needs too. <laughs> that is dumb. She didn't even do anything. She just touched something. She she closed this, and he was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> Eleanor was like. That's a knee slapper. Lizards are good. They're hiding in their rocks. Somewhere in Arizona. There. Don't you have lizards here? If you have lizards here, may I see them and may I hold one? I want to hold She wants it. to sacrifice one. No, I want to hold it. I like hold. the way they are. She wants to hold it in her mouth like a pile of salt here. and then just <laughs> shove it in there. <laughs> Put it in the sonic cube. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. <laughs> no, I won't. That's only for my hand. I want to see how many times I can do it until my skin falls off. Oh my god. Give her one of those cute Komodo dragons. You didn't have lizards on campus anymore. So you have yeah. one... What do you mean anymore? What did you do to them that you got them in hell? <laughs> well, she put them in her hand and then shoved them in her mouth. <laughs> Lots of jars of lizards. Oh, so you kill them. She could hold the jarred lizards. If anyone has a pet lizard, can I come over? My sister has a pet lizard. Can I go to your sister's no. house? No. <laughs> You're not allowed. I just want to hold it. No. And I want to show that, it, that it's love. She doesn't live anywhere around here. And like, I want to hold it because I love when you hold them and then their little heads just sit there and you just like pet it with one finger. And it looks at you like put me down yeah. right now. For oh, a pee on you. Apparently someone did kill the lizard but she didn't do it. She said I didn't kill the lizard. Spill the beans, who was it? Dox the lizard killer. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't mess around with lizards. What's a xenopus? Xeno what? Xenopus. Xeno. Xeno. I, I can't win here. Xenopus. Like an octopus? Ooh, a oh, a frog. You know, I tried to own frogs once. We have frogs here. They're technically okay pets for dorms. I want to see a picture of it. Well, I think I've got this thing hammered out completely now. As soon as I get this uh, Rimaportula. So the last thing I need to image is this. Do we have a left foot? Uh, you mean another one? What's the other? What's the first one? Oh, wait. Never mind. What is the first one? What if I was a dog this whole time and I didn't know it? <laughs> what if we're like dogs and we just don't know it? <laughs> what have you been smoking? Nothing. Pregnancy test frog. What? You lost me, Pacific Points. <laughs> uh, they use uh, frog urine or something oh, well, that's, to test for pregnancy. That's not super bad. Yeah. First vertebrates, birds, and spirits. 
Suck it down the lips. Yeah, she's like kissy. Can you edit it so it has eyeballs? Can I? Yeah. Will you? Are you asking me or is chat asking me to do that? No one. What? Me. <laughs> me. What's me? Oh, um, first me? name and last name wants to know what that is. This is the Rima Portula, which is a structure on a diatom. Uh, in Hinea, they only occur on the valve ends, and they're only supposed to have one. And this one only has one. But earlier, I found one with two. But I think maybe it was just a circus freak. So. <laughs> Imagine it if you had eyes. <laughs> it looked like James Charles a little bit. On the inside, the Rima Portula looks like a pair of lips. Oh. And on the outside, it looks like a little hole. A square shaped hole in this species. Hunter wants to see two. She said two question mark question mark show me. Well, I can't show you because I had to take two separate pictures, but I will send you the pictures. Um, Gamecast had a friend who accidentally let an endangered frog escape and then lost it and then found it dead in a fly zapper. Reese's in pieces. Frogs in the fly zapper? How did it get in there? Must Don't those hang? That's my baby. Well, you can have a, a, a swatty one. You like a tennis racket? Oh, or sometimes I guess people put them on a table. Yeah. What kind of dog would you guys be? Mallory would be a setter or a retriever kind of dog. Irish setter? Because they're like... What's a setter? <laughs> Spazzy and brainless? I <laughs> Belgian Malois. Whoa. Why is that dog so old? It's highly specific. <laughs> she, took, she took one BuzzFeed quiz. <laughs> 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 Years later, she remembers it. What's it called? Let me see. Belgian Malinois. It's like the Navy Seal dog. Malinois. That dog? Mm-hmm. That's like a German Shepherd. But it's like fancier. a German Shepherd, but like on steroids. Eleanor would be a Border Collie or a Pointer, and Doctor Stone would be a cat. <laughs> a cat. I think whatever dog they did, they did that like experiment on them where they threw a Who blanket. Who said that would be a cat? Yawns to. He's angry that you called him a cat, so cat like. I can see myself I think being if a you were dog. Party. You would be a poodle. Poodles, or a are, poodles are mean. No, they're smart. Aren't they like the smartest dogs? They're mean. That was my point. Oh, I swear to God. But well, listen. A pointer is. A pointer? It's a pointy dog. The smartest dogs are border collies. Huh. Really? I had a border collie puppy for like a span of a month. Yeah. Anyway. They can train them to do all kinds of things. St. Bernard's. I don't know who St. Bernard is. Well, anyway, I'd be whatever dog where they did that experiment and they just threw the blanket on the dog and it just stood there and didn't move. <laughs> Instead, like, the other dogs, like, shook it off. <laughs> like, that's their intelligence test. I just stood there. <laughs> what, well, I'll Google it. What is the smartest dog? You can be that dog. Well, what kind of dog do you think you would be? I already told you what the smartest dog was. What is this? Do you think you'd I'll be a border collie? We'll see. See, Poodle is the second smartest. I see where you put me in second place. Maybe a Shetland Sheepdog. What are those like? That sounds fancy. Shetland Sheepdog. Oh, it's a Molly dog. Malinois are nuts. She's crazy. This structure that's right here on the end is the apical pore field, and that is what the diatom uses to exude out um, polysaccharides in order to attach itself <laughs> to rocks and plants and whatever else. Hinea mostly live in water that is flowing or where there's high wave energy. So they have a big apical pore field and they... That's not. what Jan said you would be, is this yeah. dog. They're smart and loyal. Oh, sounds good. Sign me up. I'm ready to be a dog. Au revoir. Oh, wow. First name and last name said that that's really interesting. Eternal. Remo. They're on their science game. Portula. Literally. Someone needs to make a YouTube channel if science fails. Dude, have you ever seen the Filthy Frank show? This one only has one. For sure. What are you doing over there? I don't know. Sometimes I get the urge to make a motion and I'm like, yeah, let's do that. My brain's like, that's a good idea, that's a good idea, let's do it. Alright, 
so I'm going to just jump over to sample 6 and then 7 and see if there's anything special on those, but I think it's more or less all the same Hanea at this point. Dr. Starr, are you into Mythbusters? Mythbusters? Yeah. The TV show? Yeah. Isn't it over? Yeah. What I mean, I watched it when it was on occasionally. Well, I'm kind of upset because I saw... You saw the episode where they try to figure out if beans actually make you fart more. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh. Um, I saw the episode where they knocked over a canister of pressurized gas, like the ones that we have, right? Yeah. And Dr. Null told me a story about how one was knocked over, it was like a huge one, and it went through like concrete stairs that go down. And they found out that it did go through a wall that they made of bricks. But then it stopped after that. Yeah. And they didn't make it like go in a... Well, it happened. They didn't make it go in a straight line, so how can you know how hard it can really go? Because it made a dent in the wall behind it as well. But then it started like... And around. Um, what's the problem? Oh, I just wanted to see it go through multiple sets of stairs like Dr. Null said happened. You think Dr. Null's lying to you? Oh, no, I know he's not because he showed us the, the like pictures of them. I don't know what you're upset about. I don't know either. I was just thinking about it. And for some reason, I feel upset about the episode. I can't explain my feelings. Much <laughs> like a kindergartner. <laughs> they did the math. They did the monster math. Yeah, there wasn't enough destruction because he told me these stories and I was like, well, shoot, I want to see what happens for you. It's like nine really is the only one that had much stuff on it on a... I, I made samples from 11 and 14, and 11 had stuff on it, and 14 did not. Maybe you didn't mix it up well enough. No, there wasn't anything left in the sample except for what, like a little tiny bit, so I used all of it. Or Lassie. almost all of it. So Lassie, thank you for the follow. Newt, do. Thank you. Well... Let's, um... While we're poking around, we can jump around now to... Is specific plankton still here? I believe so, because it's anything in a while, but the usual suspects. I made a, I made a sample from her stuff that I never got around to looking at, and uh, and this is that sample. Look, there's a pacifier. This is a tintinid. Oh, it does look like a passy. Do I listen to Drake? Yeah. No. Oh, Pacific Plankton is here. Have you ever listened to Drake once? Why are you... Why I'm do you care? thinking about Hotline Bling. Why do you care if I've listened to it? Because I'm going to ask... Because if I say, have you listened to Drake? And you say yes. And then I'll say, okay, have you heard Hotline Bling? And you'll say yes. And, and then I can communicate about Hotline Bling. Well, you can go ahead and communicate with other people. I haven't listened to Drake. Oh, I'm just thinking about it. That's all. Why does it build up a platelet like that? What is that? Uh, tintinids make their homes out of whatever's around them. What's a tintinid? A type of marine organism. An, an animal. And, uh, and so they have little plates of sediment that they... Um, sort of glue together. It's called agglutinated. And then they live inside of it. This thing called a lorica. And in Pacific plankton samples, we either see ones that are uh, shaped like this, which is like sort of pacifier shaped or like a ghost. Uh, or we see ones that are shaped like uh, light bulbs. Those are the two shapes that we usually get. Christmas light bulbs, you know, like the outdoor kind. Like this? That's not that one. That's a different one. That's the wine glass one. I haven't seen the wine glass one in the SCM yet. Someone makes a tubey one. A what? Someone makes a tube. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's Arctic. I've seen these in Del Maximum sample. Is it a thecate amoeba? Is that a thecate amoeba? Just as I thought. Uh, it's a tintinid, right? Ciliophora. 
Yeah, Pacific Plankton will help people out with the names because these are actually her samples. Pacific Plankton is so smart. She's so smart. She's so smart and kind and helpful. In fact, I'd say she deserves a shout out. What? That's crazy. Is a tin timid. I pulled a muscle on my neck. Ow. Doing what? I don't know. a little bit of whiplash we jumped over to a marine sample from san francisco bay we were looking at some samples from alaska and i feel like i characterized the hinea pretty well that's in there <laughs> so i thought i would jump over and take a look at the sample which i haven't looked at before and then probably a little bit later we'll go back to the samples from the Him uh, from the himalayas from mount everest and look for some more hinea uh, and try to get some good images of those Chopcore didn't know about these guys, and Yang says, why are silicora so hard to find? They're tin timid. Oh, it's a joke. Or They're tin timid. <laughs> I know, not the knee slapping. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Her, knee, her knee slapping is really unnerving, isn't it? You're going to break your knees one of these days. It's, it's not the normal knee slap. It. It's not like a slap. It's more like your... your it's just a leg brush atop the top of the knee. You're brushing the knee. Okay. A knee brush. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Breaded shrimp 23. What do I like? What? Oh, it's dangling. I'm going to call you shrimp. I recognize the color. What, what possessed you to change your name to breaded shrimp 23? Um, what? Probably like popcorn shrimp. Do you like popcorn chips? I don't like seafood. I don't eat my friends. Uh, I've got to find a different folder to put this in. It's a comeback name. Are you going to start streaming? I'll watch you obsessively. Who? <laughs> no one. Try to trip on the Dangling redemption on it. Can you come back like with a mask on? Like Let's bang. see what else we can find in this sample. Better than breaded Godzilla. I think so. Wait, Dangling Uvula changed their name? Yeah, to breaded shrimp 23. Oh, here's another tintinid. This is the one that I was saying looks like a light bulb. Oh, there's two of them. Oh! They're hanging out. That is light bulbish. And. Do they stick their little feelers out, like little Yeah, they, they have little, uh... So what do they make that out of, like... Magic bits. Wasps and spit? Or they just this? Wrap stuff? This is, like, usually whatever's around them. So sediments. Sometimes you'll find diatoms in their valves. That's pretty smart. Like, the valves of diatoms are part of the actual shell of the tintinid. Um, I've seen some that are like that. Wait. Intelligente, if you will. Oh, Celestia Syrah, I think. This big guy here is an Isthmia, and so are this one. That's one diatom right there. One really big diatom. And this one is Rhizoselenia. Because I haven't, the sample's not processed in any way, it's just basically washed to get rid of some of the salts. The rise of selenia are more or less in their life position. Um, normally, when we start to digest them a little bit in, um, in acids or oxidizers, the girdle bands will break down entirely, and then we'll just see the little tips of these things laying around. Breaded shrimp says, I was going to do something inappropriate, but I remembered sometimes I watch Sylvia play Minecraft. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm glad she kept you on the straight and narrow. <laughs> the threat of my daughter seeing a name that she might not understand. <laughs> oh, there's something here. Because it like it says it's a big diatom. Was it living? Uh, it's 
it's an outline of something that was alive. Shafor says, how come the diatom appears transparent? What? Oh, the middle part of them are, the, the wall is really thin on that one that we were looking at. Um, so the middle part, the girdle bands are really, really thin. There's a li little um, radiolarian. Who? A snowman, a radiolarian. And uh, a g bunch of giant isthmians. And that's a giant diatom as well. You so guys like the rock thing? Internal view of the Thalassocyra. It's got little holes. Wait, get a picture of that. That's cool. You can see the holes on the side. The side holes? The side holes, yeah. Nah, I don't want a picture Much of like a... The girdle band has holes, yeah. yeah. So the sputtered metal doesn't block the ray. That's interesting. The sputtered... Well, there's no blocking uh, the beam. Oh. The sputtered metal helps keep the the uh, the diatom from being all charged up because it's made out of silica, which doesn't uh, conduct electricity very well. There's another radiolarian right here, and most of these round things that you're seeing are diatoms. Uh, a lot of the diatoms that are here are Thalassiosyra and Cosinodiscus. Thalassiosyra, Thalassiosyra, different species of Thalassiosyra. And then there's some junk on here. This junk is probably like uh, zooplankton poop. What are you typing? I'm arguing. Oh, with who? Breaded shrimp 23. Oh, I thought she always had your back. Oh, yeah, no. Um, she said, I've been watching for months and I still don't know what a diatom is. And so Pacific Plankton and I both sent her the diatoms explanation with a link to the diatoms.org. And she said, no. And I said, learn or perish. And she said, you perish. And I said, haha, no, you. Reported for not wanting to perish. I think if she doesn't know what a diatom is by this point, it's because she doesn't want to. She's being obstinate. Andalore said, I am still a bit weak on the plant, the pants up or pants down for the plankton. You know, um, trying to find one of those dinoflagellates, that's actually my mission while I was on this sample. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can find some dinoflagellates that these are samples that haven't been processed. One of the things that I did find just here, though, is this is a giant isthmia, and then it's covered with a bunch of other little diatoms in here, which are cuckanies. This is a whole bunch of little diatoms growing on a big diatom. These are all cockanies. Did you say cockanies? Cockanies. Oh. The different types of cockanies. Which one of these? Pants up is a dinoflagellate. Yeah, we're looking for it. Let's see if I can find one for you. Do they communicate or just grow on it? Uh, no, they just grow on it. They're using it as surface area. Oh, there's a lithodesmian. Where'd it go? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, I think so. You want to see the final results? Okay. See, there's little yeah. short little tubes coming out the valve face. Yeah. Do you know when you're going to show? What do you mean? Like when you're going to flip and say next slide. Oh, yeah. Pants down is a party diet one. Yeah. Business in the front, party in the back, <laughs> baby. Can cockneys be a pet of Isthmia? I don't think they're pets. There's a whole bunch of them living on the outside of the valve. Here's what they look like when they don't have them living on the valves. That looks so silly. It looks like it's hugging it. There's like a ton of them growing on that edge. Specific plankton, no hold to hold communication? Yeah, I don't think so. Honest said, I'm sure they can, there are so many holes. <laughs> Being fast said, that's it. I'm getting my Graham and Wilcox book on algae to follow along. 
<laughs> well, you're welcome to follow along. I don't think you need to buy anything to do so, but... No, I think they already own the Grand and Wolf Fox book. Oh. What is a Grand and Wolf Fox book? Please explain. Do you know? It's, uh, those are authors. Oh. Gilthon, alright, I need to go paint some shutters while the weather is nice. I wonder how that feels. Having nice weather, you mean? Painting shutters. Oh. But yeah, nice weather, too. Because <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any of that. It's a bit chilly today. Really, this week was awesome. Yeah, I, it's the, the difference. It should be snowing right now. Why isn't it snowing? We don't need snow. I want it. I don't need anything. I want a lot. Protoperidinium is a party diatom. Yeah, it has a party hat. And... It has a party hat? Yeah, it what wears a party hat. What do you mean, what do I mean? You haven't seen it? No. Has, why it's don't you watch Pacific Plankton streams? They're at odd times for me. Also, I don't get the notification. Why not? I don't know. I get you little follow Chug, her? I get Chug, I get Dell, I get Professor Melko. I think I follow her. I know I wouldn't. You should give her it a follow. It says I've been following since July 16, 2020. No way. Um, Kaelton said it's t-shirts and shorts weather right now. I'm going to add you. It's a friend specific. We're friends. Oh, what's this? It's a microphone. What is this weird thing? Is it a sponge? It's like a corn cob. No, it's a diatom, but what diatom is this? Where's Anna? Is that a chicken? <laughs> Anna, what is this? Basic body. I took body in high school. What is this weird beast? Anna's typing. In Idaho. Oh, my sister. Too. That's all she said. She She's just typing said in, in Idaho. Idaho. She's <laughs> typing? She said, show me more. Well, that's all we have of it. We'll keep it just microphone diatom. It's me on its side, said there's a big point in question mark. I don't know. It looks like it has a growth on it. It doesn't look like something. It's covered with cockneys, like the ismia were. That's not shaped like an ismia. Anna, did I ask for you? She's typing in Idaho. See, those are on their sides. I guess it could be like standing up, like valve view. Because it looks like it wants you to zoom in on the end. On this end. Time flies and we're having fun. MTV Live said it's a rice grain. Yeah, I want to put it past rice to trick us like this. What's your impression of rice that you think it would do that? Huh? What's your impression of rice that you think it would have the audacity to trick people? I mean, whenever. Whenever I was trying to uh, learn German, I couldn't figure out which gender the rice should be. Gendered languages are hard to learn. Yes. We have we have some, like fire man, fire woman. I know it's in the name there though. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like rice is just. I mean, it, does, it feels wrong to me that rice has a gender. Yeah, like like in in Spanish, pen, pluma, pen, it has a gender. I'm like, it's a pen. Everything has a gender there, though. There are so few not gendered languages. Well, fortunately, we just happen to be one of them. Well, unfortunately, I guess. Well, fortunately for some people. I guess fortunately for everyone, it's fortunate for some. Anyway. Lies again. You know what that is? A circle. No. That's a little uh, villager. A it's a little baby clam. Oh <gasps> no! A clam? You killed it? I didn't kill it. Pacific. Yeah, Pacific Plankton killed it. And the lore, gendered languages are tough, especially if a chair is male in one language and female in another language. 
See, I just don't understand why the is it like energy or something? That's how we decided? Like someone made the pen and they're like, okay, we gotta think this through. Now what does it feel? And they're like, it kind of feels like a woman. A pen <laughs> feels like a woman. <laughs> I feel like you're setting yourself up to say something really sexist. <laughs> I may be repeating, Emily Bono says, Emilio Bono says, I may be repeating myself, but I find your chitch your channel absolutely unique, especially on Twitch. Thank you. You know, it is unique in that we have a scanning electron microscope and we've got a Mallory. <laughs> There's only one Mallory. And we got a Dr. Stone and we got an Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do that to you. <laughs> Now try to imagine learning a gendered language when you already know a couple and genders are all different. <laughs> I can't believe Anna's calling me a murderer. She killed all the diatoms. <laughs> she just said that comes from a person who killed millions of diatoms. Breaded shrimp killer. Oh, she doesn't remember Shame. the diatom that we looked Shame. at. But this thing that we're looking at right now is Veliger, which is a little baby clan. This Mallory stream. You like her sense of work humor. A computer. <laughs> this is this is her stream. Her stream is my stream. We could vlog together. You guys should have your own Twitch channel. It'd be fun. Yeah. I would ruin any chance I ever had of getting a career if I'm on for more than this designated time. <laughs> Mika, Mika. My emotional support is here. Pacific Plankton, you know, I wanted to ask why does the background of your microscope view look like a black void while Dr. Stone's at home scope has a bright background? Um, yeah. Who needs a career? It's a good question. I don't. I've already got one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she has a dark field filter. Yeah. Her light comes from the side. My light comes from the underneath. She also has a bright field setting. Breaded shrimp gave us a pen. Shrimp, shrimp. Aww. 23. What's a, what's a sports person who has a 23 number? Sports person. Michael Jordan? 23. Oh. You bop back and forth. Between light and dark? Brian Bellows. Hello, Brian Bellows. Bop. You guys know Bop It? Bop It. Uh, yeah. Twist it. Uh, pull it. <laughs> you know they can clip stuff, right? <laughs> Honestly, could it have been Terrancola? I don't know. I'm <laughs> thinking of the Terrancola. Hey, we got a new follow from Dog the Bark. It hasn't shown up online yet. Well, I'm telling you, it's oh. going to happen. Thanks, Doggy Barks. Keep up good work. What did you talk about dogs earlier? Dog! Hello. I like the dark field. It makes me feel like the view we're looking at goes on and on, staring at the night sky. Yeah. I'm just feeling poetic today. You ever just look up the sky and you're like, what if that's just a sheet with some holes in it? Yeah. Think about it. Like you definitely were on something before you came to this stream. <laughs> I had 12 pizza rolls, exactly. So You are high on pizza rolls. That's <laughs> what you're trying to tell us. Why what for says hello. Hey, why what for? How you doing? Welcome to Mallory says things that sound like she's high. I'm not. <laughs> Young. Igor, what have you been smoking? That's an interesting nickname. Igor. Look, 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 look right here. See this? It's the chalk outline of an animal. What animal? Oh, I like its nose. Looks like it, it looks like a manta ray. With its two little pokers out. The oh my god, it actually does. Wait, I'm not that crazy for saying that. That is a Nopleus, I believe. A Copepod Nopleus. Huh. Would be my guess. 
given that you can see some appendages here sticking out, and then it's got the two little appendages off the bottom. That totem totally looks like a manta ray. Yes, yes, yes. What's the Pacific plankton think it is? Does it have a nose? That's her tank. I mean, a I nose? would agree, Nopolis. Nopolis. Okay. Good. Um, I don't do drugs. I don't need them to get the effects. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a, I'm on like a, I don't know. I'm not sure what this thing is though. I've seen a couple of those. Oh, there's something weird. No noses. Mika! Wait, no, Ellie! Mika said- <laughs> Oh, like, let me try that again. <laughs> Hi, Mika! Well, you know what we should be calling you? Mikak. You got a K. Mikak. Oh, this one looks like somebody dropped a trash bag. It looks like it's stomach- like it didn't eat for a while and it, the rest of its body like got its trunk and it just had its stomach left. Or its little brain. Uh, I don't know what that is. A sack. Helithica maybe? Maybe it's a diatom. How can you tell what it is by it just being a crushed up little thing? It's square. Well, maybe it wasn't square. Maybe it just happened to get crushed that way. No, things don't end up square if they didn't start out square. Oh, bye, breaded shrimp. Have fun. I'll miss you dearly. Fuck that. Anna said, okay, that diatom. I didn't see it well enough. But my first thought was Grammatophora. Oh, but I think it's way too big for that. Though the name slipped. Either that or Terranfola. It was really big. It was bigger than the Isthmians. It had, it had little cuckanies growing on it. That's an initial. You could don't dox yourself. You should know better than that. I've only done it ten times. I got an email. What is your email about? Stuff going online. My oh. quizzes. I used to quiz and exams the first time. Yeah, here's another one of those little lithodesmians. It's like a breadstick. It looks like a breadstick. Remember what it's I was a diatom, about? for sure. I was that pile, really. Yeah. Kyle, how could we miss it? Hey, my my stepdad just said, "How crazy!" He writes a small words. He said, "Look what happened on this day five years ago. That was a oh my god." <laughs> what happened? Uh, um, Your friend Kyle's eating salt? No. <laughs> I haven't talked to Kyle in like three years. Um, so any updates on the university going fully online? We're online. It's suggested. We're basically fully online right now. Uh, you know, the, if you can be online, you should be online is basically where we are. So classes that, you know, would normally meet face to face would be moved, unless they can't. All of mine went all online, except I have to go pick up something during class time. But that's literally it, and it's on Monday, and everything else is done. Dr. Stone, do you normally teach any online classes? Like purely online? Summer. In the summer, I teach one. Yeah, you, you should know that. No, you, they asked. Me oh, did. You yeah. should know the answer. Though. I need to start saying their names. I'm sorry. Too confusing. Jonathan, you fast. Leave our boyfriends alone. In the, uh, in the in the summer, I teach a intro to Earth science online exclusively. One day, one day I'm gonna. That's my greatest story. I will tell you guys that story one day. I'll save it. What story? Kyle's story. The Kyle story? Didn't we already hear it? No, Kyle's just one part of that. Oh, okay. So are all lab classes basically canceled? Uh, no. If you have a lab and they can meet, they probably would. You can uh, also sign up for your class. Well, I think that's a possibility. <gasps> really? My summer class? Yeah. They have to pay for it. Well, yeah. Or could they be like John and just show up? Well, I... I don't actually hold like lectures for that class. It's all recorded. 
because it's online. Probably, in, probably could teach some classes that were purely online, but I haven't. You could stream your classes on Twitch. I could. Um, Bagel Rabbit, thank you for the follow. Oh, what a you name! Do. Bagel Rabbit, you should give them a shout out. Bagel Rabbit, Bagel Rabbit, Bagel Rabbit. Bagel, Bagel Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit is Rabbit. a musician. They play like an electric violin type thing, and. Um, I watched a little bit of their stream the other day, they go back, they go and back. they raided Pacific Plankton last uh, last time she was on. But then the chat would have to be serious. I could grade all your peoples. <laughs> <laughs> they go rabbit. I love the color of your name. It's like chartreuse. <laughs> what color chartreuse is Chartreuse is a type of green. <laughs> it's pink. <laughs> the serious students would be on blackboard or whatever. I don't smell if you have more Himalayan henna around. Yeah. We're going to work on that soon. That was like a churro. Yeah, a little bit. A diatom churro. A lot of it. It's lithodesmia. Dude, it looks exactly like a churro. It does. Well, I think churros have to have cinnamon and stuff on them. <laughs> the other chartreuse. Melody, are you hungry? No, I'm not. Why do you ask? You gonna buy me dinner? <laughs> <laughs> that came off different than I wanted it to come off. <laughs> she really wants to go on a date with you, is what no, she's saying. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's what it sounded like to me. <laughs> All signs point to you being hungry. I'm not hungry. I'm slap happy because I'm having a good time. Aww. Another dead thing. <laughs> right here, look. Look at another dead thing. Uh, I think it's a copepot pot again. Based like on the that. shape. There's dead things in these samples. Same date night. Um, she just shut you down. First she asked for dinner, and then she just shut you down. Who are you asking to take you to dinner? It was you accident. I was oh. dying across the Atlantic. That's a good plan. I was just reading a paper about a new company, and the only thing I could think of was it looks like a sausage. Thank you, guys. Is that Anna? Yeah. Because nobody else in the channel would be reading about company. Right? Pacific Plankton just says dead things, and they said, nice, what a seg. <laughs> like a seg. Like. Sounds extremely romantic. <laughs> Lord Chronicus, I've never heard that name before. I mean, technically, at this point, all of those are dead things. Haha, -ha, the whole metal plating and electron beams tend to disagree with organics. Yeah, a little bit. But yeah. these are like, you know, outlines of dead organisms. You know, not just their skeletons. Zoom dinner sounds like stupid. What? <laughs> Did you just call somebody stupid? No, I didn't call. I just called anyone. So I said the idea of itself. Imagine like setting up a meal because I was on um, Zoom dinner. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was on like Facetime with my mom, and she was she was talking about something or another, and I was just trying to eat my spaghetti. I'm like focused on my spaghetti and she's like so did you fill out this very important paperwork I'm like what? I'm just trying to eat my rotini man was it spaghetti or rotini well spaghetti is like a general term mm. listen I'm gonna I'm gonna blow you guys I don't think that's mind. true where I come from we use spaghetti as a general term for like pasta? spaghetti with what you mean pasta no, we use it as a general term for like eating pasta with like red sauce, like marinara or meat sauce or that kind of deal. We so call that spaghetti. most of the pasta, yeah, is spaghetti. Yeah, I'm not gonna call it rotini. We just say, "Are you have what do you have tonight?" We'll say we're having spaghetti, and that's like taken to mean pasta with that's red sauce. That's not how that works. Well, that's how it works where I'm from. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> Keep it coming, you almost have her. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> Spaghetti. 
red sauce is spaghetti. No, the red sauce with the noodles is the spaghetti. What? That's just what we call it. So, like, when you were talking about... So, like, when people say, oh, I'm having spaghetti, I automatically think pasta with red sauce. And they, they mean literally... Well, they're literally talking about the pasta. Yeah, when people say spaghetti, they mean things that use the spaghetti noodle. It's no. a type of noodle. Well, that's just... I, I know that's what it is, but like we also, where I'm from, we use it as like a general term for like pasta with red sauce. It doesn't matter what the noodle is. It does matter though. I know you're saying it matters, and I understand why you're saying that. I know it hurts you to hear this, but this is what I'm telling you. This is what it is. That's like I feel like maybe we can't be friends anymore, Mallory. Because <laughs> the spaghetti, this is going to be known as the spaghetti debacle. I never show up on the stream again. It goes down in the lore. <laughs> I don't think we can be friends anymore. As a person who spends my life putting things into categories, I sort of feel like spaghetti <laughs> is, you know, a line I don't want to cross with somebody. It's my fake British accent. Yeah. You know, I can't take people with British accents. Um, to dinner? Ser no, <laughs> I can't take them seriously. What are they going to do when they get angry? First, I'm down. Oh, I'm right then! <laughs> anyway, it's like how in the South they call it... Coke? Th they call it Coke. Yeah. Also the Coke. No, I call it Pop. That's no, it, they just call all soda I know. Coke. That's, that's disgraceful. At least but pop but is pop. pasta's okay? You Let me spaghetti? ask you something. You mean spaghetti? Because I call it spaghetti. What if it's one that you bake? Lasagna? Is it all lasagna? If it has red sauce, noodle, and meat. So manicotti is the same thing to you what as lasagna. What the hell is a manicotti? <laughs> oh my god. What did you just say to me? <laughs> I don't know what either. I, we, well, sometimes we do uh, uh, stuff. I can't handle living pasta. in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> Stuffed pasta. It has like mashed potatoes in the, in the, it's like a bigger shell. Those are really good. Oh my god. Spaghetti or ravioli best. Eleanor's taking notes on how not to offend Dr. Stuff. Dude, I feel like everything I do, she's watching, she's like, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> this is my job. I'm supposed to learn. <laughs> she's, she's, she's here like, to learn. She's baked ZD stuffed shells, tortellini. It's but like, like they only that. know two types of baked pasta. ZD there's stuffed that shells, stuff that tortellini. you put in the oven, it's lasagna, and then there's the stuff you <laughs> cook on the stove top. Well, if you're talking about a very specific dish, the very specific dish will have a name. But if we're talking about it, like, colloquially, it's mm. lasagna. Mm. Cheese, please. Next, no. she's going to crawl grilled cheese pizza. Really? No, I wouldn't do that. But you know what's good? Grilled <laughs> ham and cheese. That's really good. <laughs> I leave to buy a fridge and come back and there's a spaghetti to buy. Who left to buy a fridge? Sarah. She was buying a fridge? <laughs> Is that what was going on? I guess so. Sarah, I hope you got a good quality fridge. If you have limited bread, a grilled cheese can be a pizza. It's Astrolampolis. Astrolampolis. I like to make homemade pizza. You do? Mm hmm It's pretty good. What I like to make? Alright. Cheesy garlic Oh, yeah. Be a good example for your... Kohai? We're jumping over Mama to... Mama Bonbon's here. Mama Bonbon is here? She sent the cat. The happy cat. Or that's a fox. I think it's a tiger. It says Dai Chan Wei. It's, it's a red panda. Oh. Astra Lumpolius, a lumpy star. Yeah, it's like a lumpy star. That's a good way to describe it. Hey, now we're in uh, Mount Everest. And that's a Diplonese. I'm quite sure. It's a Why'd you call me sir? Ooh. I'm a girl. I'm talking about gendered languages. We got like two gendered things. That's. Who called you sir? I meant multiple genders. That's not what I meant. I meant like two like subject. Anyway. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Keep digging my hole deeper. Gotta prepare for Thanksgiving with way too much food for five people. Of the will. I don't know what I'm doing for Thanksgiving. Yet. Dude, oh. it's not Thanksgiving. It's a companima. 
It's November 14th. My birthday is in three months. Hey. That's so fun. Are you holding out for your birthday for some reason? I just like it. You like your birthday? Yeah. That's when shocking. Was, huh? That's such a controversial statement. <laughs> I like. I didn't like my birthday for a long time because uh, one time I was having a. I had a birthday party. I was at my grandpa's house, and then he died that same day while I was there. And then I went. Home. What did you do to your grandpa? <laughs> do, he was. He was really sick. He had been sick for a long time, and we were there to visit him, and he was getting a sponge bath, and then he died. Mm -hmm. This and, um, uh, it was it was my first time. sequence is a little bit unordered. You might want to. I, I told you the sequence. I went over to his house after school. And he got a sponge bath. Because he, he was in hospice care. Okay. He was in hospice care. And then while we were there, we were waiting to see him for, it to be, for him to be done getting his sponge bath. And then the lady came in and she told us that he died. And um, my birthday party was that night. And then none of my friends came. Aww. And so I just sat alone at my birthday party. I used to throw birthday parties. You're not over it even time. now, are you? Nobody showed up, so I stopped. Well, my friend Alana... <laughs> my friend Alana came over, and she stayed for like five days. <laughs> she's she's my best friend for a long time. You, happy birthday. Jonathan, happy birthday! Oh, is it their birthday? Hey. Bagel Rabbit would like to know if there are varieties of diatoms that live in snow. Or are they transported by evaporation? Uh, no to evaporation. Yes to snow. Um, would ma'am be better? Ma'am never feels respectful to me because people tend to use it in a negative way. Who called you, sir? I think it was why what for. I don't even know. I was just playing. I was just playing. You can call me whatever you want. Um, I love, you know what I love to say to little kids? Like little, like little toddlers, like as a, I just, can't wait to hear this. <laughs> you say, <laughs> like when they're acting up, um, it's something that older, older ladies would say to their kids. They'd be like, no ma'am, no ma'am, you're not, no ma'am. <laughs> That's so funny because they're like little and they just, they don't know. You just tell them no ma'am, like they're old lady. Anyway. Um, I take it back. I could, I could wait for that. Happy birthday, Jonathan. What a story. Thanks. John, you're 40 now? Congratulations. Almost over the hill. Thank you. <laughs> Alan MD said... Okay. Alan MD is here? Hey, Alan. I don't know what that is. It looks like a blue blob to me. Why don't I just read it? It says cell H. What's Golden Kappa? I don't know. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of is, but it's fine. My professor studied Antarctic algae. Oh, nice. Studied past tense. Wait, wait. Are you a professor? Is that? Oh, my professor. Art. Antarctic fast. algae. Let's see. K-pop art. I'm the K-pop art. What's happening? <laughs> wait, no. Oh, he's retired. Okay. <laughs> Who's professor? Yeah, he's... Jan! I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> We're giving each other K-pop arts. <laughs> he's retired now. Tell him to keep up the good work. Oh, we got a new follower. It's all okay. big boy. I mean, it's going to... New, new. Whoa! Oh my gosh! How'd that work? <laughs> OG big boy, shout out. I have no idea what's going on. I'm enjoying this. Heart! <laughs> they're, they're making hearts and I'm looking at diatoms. <laughs> you unlock it when people give subs. See, I've been here oh, and I haven't seen it. It's because we haven't had any people give subs. Ah. That's fine. Yeah. Hey, if I shoot a rubber band at the camera, do you think it'll look cool? No. <laughs> Somebody said a southwest heart. Whoa! Lord Chronicus has followed us. Doctor Scientist. No. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Doctor Stone is a scientist. The rest of us That's are distractions. Newt, new. I'm not distracted at all, though. To clarify, the sir was for Doctor Stone, who called the Foxy Motor Red Panda. So you were calling Doctor Stone, sir? 
Um, <laughs> uh, we want to go back to the name. Mama Bonbon bon, apparently. That's this should be BBC Nine. You know what's an interesting chain of events? If you've ever seen like that Domino's meme, it's like <laughs> the little one at the bottom is Mama Bon Bon calling Mallory Sir, and the big one at the top is hearing my dead grandpa story. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on anymore. But are we all scientists in our own way? No, I call the people ma'am and sir too all the time. Don't worry. You're okay, Mama Bon Bon. Let me send you a virtual hug. Oh, was I right about the red panda? By hugging myself. Yeah, it was a red panda. But aren't we all scientists in our own way? Do you know, uh, you know how I knew it was red panda? Because they're red. No. They're a little orange. Yeah. I'd say. They're orange. <laughs> I think I'm a red panda then. Well, compared to pandas, they're red. I mean. Compared to most things, they're red. But I'd say they're more of like an orange. Like a blood orange. Blood Ooh. orange. Are you kidding me? It's red. Oh, Mama said no, it's a fox. Oh, it's not? Yeah, I'm sorry, I missed I think it's a red panda. <laughs> <laughs> Whose artwork is it? Maybe we can chase him down. Pacific Plankton said, ooh, that's pretty. Jan said, fail fish. Is that a man? Why is my chat so small? How can I make it bigger? Uh, if you hold down the shift key and the plus key. Did that work? Mm -hmm. Control key and the plus key? I mean, if I click over here. Oh no, I'm just saying plus key. Look at the face. No, not in the chat. Yeah. In the window. What window? Are you telling me to make my font size bigger? I'm not telling you to do anything. Oh, oh, it's that's working! Yeah. Yeah. What? That's crazy. Yeah, that is weird. That's crazy. It's like wow. I know how to make oh things bigger. God. That's wild. <laughs> Why did I have it on 75%? I don't like big text. Um. <laughs> Technology, whoa. Yeah, whoa. I'm actually... Big text. You're what? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I'm not good at, um, computer stuff, but I'm really good at PowerPoint. I was gonna show you, I was going to show you my Avatar The Last Airbender Presidential Greatness PowerPoint and I forgot. I'll bring it up one day. Are you talking to Eleanor? Yeah. Okay. I'll show you too if you'd like to see it. I would I love put, to see it. I put hours of work into it. I am always here to support you however you need. OG Big Boy sent a bunch of bits. What? OG Big Boy, thanks for the bits. They sent bits? You gotta say it in that voice. They sent bits? OG Big Boy, thanks for the bits. Are these the same Mount Everest slides we looked at before, or are these different? Uh, some of them are the same sample, but they're different stubs. This is uh, sample nine from our collection, if that helps, you know, make you feel better. PowerPoint, eh? Don't you guys learn latex? No, I don't like that. Um, Game I'm allergic to late times. Peach Chops raided with the party at two. Peach Chops came? Shout out Peach Chops. Hi, Peach Chops. Peach Chops. We're enjoying some luxurious scanning electron microscope time. Peach Chops is now hosting a stream. Is it our stream? Yeah. Wow. Cool. Diatom, Mallory Monster, Diatom, Lindavia Blue, Diatom, Mustachio. I guess I don't have them anymore. That kind of hurts my feelings. What? I'm kidding. Never got to work with electron microscopes while I was at university. Who Worked didn't? with confocal fluorescent microscopes, though, which is neat. Lord Chronicus. Oh. That's cool. Well, Chronicus, uh, I'm here to work with the scanning electron microscope for you. MTV Live wishes he didn't know things about computers and latex from a masochist, unless it's a badass mass equation. That... What? I don't know what you guys mean by latex. I don't do that. La latex is a, like a typesetting sort of oh. thing. Oh. Okay. 
What are you doing with your hands? You know, like the robot? You're doing the robot? You do the robot? Mm -hmm. I can't do it. <laughs> Not on camera, I can't. You just go over there and do it. <laughs> oh, she's actually gone over there to do it. <laughs> Let me turn the camera. <laughs> oh, too much, too much. <laughs> Slapping her knee. I just keep slapping my knee. <laughs> turn the camera to face her. <laughs> I'm recognizing some images now. These don't zoom away. What? Um, Mama Bonbon bon says she's like recognizing stuff now, and it's easier because they don't like run away from the camera. Like, oh yeah, stuff sits still in my camera, but I don't have a bingo for you to win at, Mama. When is the demo fix and Malasia streaming? You know, we tried to do that. Uh, we took samples from people's eyelashes and eyebrows, and we couldn't find any demo decks. Uh, so apparently we're not as infected as we thought. Dr. Winter keeps asking me when I'm going to take his hair again. See, if you <laughs> tell him he needs to give you some eyelashes. Oh, no. My poor laptop. What well, happened? I, well, the way he reacted when I pulled out his eyebrow, <laughs> I feel like eyelashes keep, like, have a breakdown. Uh, maybe he just wants you to touch his face. Um, I don't want to think about that. Hey. Maybe he's just excited to have you come touch his face again. It's just a light brush of <laughs> my hand against his forehead, that's all. Or maybe he feels like you could help him groom. We're just guys in a party mansion together. Nothing sexual. <laughs> have you ever seen it? It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? No. no. <laughs> oh, my hair needs to get in my face. Let's jump over to the next sample. Maybe he just wants you to teach him how to pluck eyebrows, maybe. Yeah, he's actually like, he's like, I don't want to just ask. I'll just ask next time, you know? <laughs> no, I think he's just amused by my antics. Aren't we all? Sometimes I ponder. Would you like a wasp butt? Uh, no, thank you. A what? A wasp butt? It's gold-plated. Yeah, you, you should, can make you it should sell big. it. If you want to sell it, you got to tell them it's gold plated wasp butt. Gold plated wasp. <laughs> this isn't your everyday wasp butt. A what? <laughs> a wasp, if you will. It's a it's a wasp wasp. Um. This Latex doesn't look is very good. a markup language, right? Used a lot in academia because it makes the equations look really nice. Yeah. So does um, Microsoft Word. No. Yeah. <laughs> it does not. It's a typesetting language, but it's really old. So were these samples drilled out of the inside of Mount Everest, or were they taken off the surface? Oh, these were samples that were collected from streams um, on the path up to the top uh, of Mount Everest from the base camp, like wandering up the trails that people take. And there's little streams that uh, people stop along and um, and then in this case, they collected some material from these little streams. Uh, there's also some sort of pools up there. So somebody asked uh, if diatoms, I forget who it was, if diatoms live in snow. Um, diatoms for sure can live in snow. What? I think it was Alan and Dee. Oh, Alan, yeah. They can for sure live in snow. Um, and there are some diatoms that live frozen in the ice itself, uh, frequently observed in places like Antarctica. Meekness. <laughs> this was back when we were talking about taking eyelashes. That sounds weird, yes, confused. That sounds like such a rich person's trinket, a gold-plated wasp butt. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a sign of our luxury. We have luxurious well, really gold-plated wasp a abdomen. A gold-plated seashell would be nice. Um, Do you want one? No. You know, I, I want to collect seashells and stuff like that, and then I get them and I put... My mom collects them in, like, jars. In jars? Uh-huh. It's, it's always about the diatoms. What about the dodecatoms? Oh, what's the clip? I think it's when I was talking about... Jan did a clip of when I was talking about my grandpa, and you just went to, so that all of these things are dead. <laughs> 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 like, let's, let's go watch it. Hold on. <laughs> Be quiet. I 
can hear myself laughing. <laughs> now I can hear myself talking on your stream. I can't watch with the stream in the background. Turn off. <laughs> Glocal said, I have no clue what this is, but don't. don't. Man, I don't know what's going on, but fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough, man. <laughs> We're looking at diatoms in a scanning electron microscope. Which is what we do pretty much every Saturday. Or at least me. Uh, also sometimes during the week. And also sometimes I <laughs> look at diatoms in an actual microscope as well. What am- oh, that, I already read that. I'd love to go to Nepal one day. I'd love yeah. to go somewhere. Luxurious and compliant. Luxurious oh, and compliant. Wasp butt. <laughs> it do be hitting different though, right? Oh, oh my god, Malik! Mallory! <laughs> now it just got weird. <laughs> it do be hitting different. It really do. Sometimes it be like that. It really do. Hi, Trevor. Wait, SEM isn't an actual microscope? How do you define a microscope? Well, it makes little things look big. Yeah, then this is a microscope. There you go. Oh, y'all have all in. Oh, it doesn't have feelings. It's okay. I checked. Don't you tell them don't care about your feelings. <laughs> It's not one of those snowflake microscopes <laughs> with feelings. How would Sam be a microscope? He's a guy from high school. I didn't. Oh, oh he said, oh, I see him. He was confused. That's okay. Everyone's a little confused sometimes. Sam could be a microscope, though, if you I'm put a lens in him. I don't like having a lens <laughs> I'd rather see nothing than see little. A microscope's with feelings costs extra. <laughs> yeah. Looks like Mallory isn't the only one who's high. <laughs> oh, I'm God. not high. I do not ingest drug. All the way down the left side, uh, the diodes hurt on the microscope. <laughs> Whenever it wakes up in the morning, it just doesn't feel like turning on or opening up sometimes. <laughs> I was born with glass bones and papers. <laughs> This is yeah, Alice Sora's back there. Hi! Fantastic. I don't think that's how that's spelled, though. I'm pretty sure it's spelled with a Y, I isn't it? Fine. Oh, no, that's my nickname. What about Diatom's life is the dream life? I would say Barbie <laughs> has the dream life. In fact, she has a dream house. <laughs> She's got the dream boyfriend, too. No! <laughs> yeah. You know what? Ken's really been working hard in these last, like, new Barbie videos. Mm -hmm. He's a good guy. Is he? Yeah. Guys, go take notes. <laughs> go take also, notes. <laughs> he's smooth down there, so... Perfect. <laughs> Diatoms are dead on this screen. They are. You just woke up. What time is it? You're hungry? They thought I was hungry. They probably just thought you had the munchies. Not, I don't. I don't. I don't need drugs. I'm just in a good mood. <laughs> I'm just in a good mood. <laughs> I got the dream me, and that's all I need. Improving myself or myself, I think I can relate to diatom. So is Anna still there? King, you need some like 100 emojis and like fire emojis. Is Anna still in the chat? She's not the same anything. Like the table sick maniac and Dell are here. Table sick. <laughs> Table sick. <laughs> Wait, did you say Del was here? Yeah, Del. Yeah. Del was here before. Well, he was gone for a while. He came back. Is he on the phone? I don't know what he does. Was he still here? Was he on the phone? Look at look at the stray there, Anna. Those don't look like they're doubly punctate at all. That was just doing morning stuff. Maximum returns. This does not look to be any more than just normal little holes. Slightly lineally, I would argue. Diatoms can cause matter annihilation. Die diatoms. Die atoms. 
Guapo wants to know what the stripes are. That's not what they said. I'm... <laughs> I need to stop translating. The stripes, uh, it's for racing. It makes them race faster when they've got the stripes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen the zebra show about the racing zebra? No. It was not a popular movie. They are not should they be. What do you mean morning loaf? What does that mean for you? Zero. He's loafing around. I thought he meant like a loaf of bread, like he eats like a thought. loaf of banana bread every day. One day. one day, one loaf. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, See, loaf around. I, I I get it, no, yeah, but I'm, I thought it was banana. You were hoping it was banana bread because you got the munchies. I'm stop saying that. It's not that strongly. Oh, is that how it works? Oh, maybe somebody should explain it to the diatom squawkle. Everyone knows that stripes only reduce fuel consumption. Flames increase. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I want? When I get enough money to like buy a fancy car, I'm gonna buy a sports car and it's gonna be hot pink and I'm gonna put like <laughs> cherry blossom flowers on it and like pink flames and I'm gonna have I want it to be so ridiculous. It's like the kind of car that kids are like, Mom <laughs> Cause one time I was Tell me she's not high. I was <laughs> Just tell me. I was she can't even control herself. She's over there peeing her pants laughing so hard. <laughs> I was at Hobby Lobby and there was this bright big like Corvette and it, the, the back of the... Wait, start over. You were where? At Hobby Lobby. You went to Hobby Lobby? <laughs> We've already talked about how you shouldn't so be going to Hobby Lobby. Lobby. <laughs> and the license plate said... Good question, license, Andalore. The license plate said hot stuff and it came out and it was a guy and a there was a guy was with a, a guy hot stuff license plate. Sounds like they're hot stuff. <laughs> yeah, I think she's been huffing on something. Did the dental students? You that? like Hobby Lobby, Alan? Like, yeah, I love Hobby Lobby, except for the fact that they're closed on Sunday. That's so disrespectful. Well, they have to pray. <laughs> so, it's Can't they pray at the cash register? Apparently not. I'm kidding. That's a joke. So sad for you. Yeah, it's really sad for me. Yeah. I'm high on, like, thank you Pacific Plankton for the support. A little too, um... We don't have Hobby Lobby here. Oh yes, you're in New Zealand. Um, it's it's like ridiculously expensive. You can go to Michael's and get the same stuff for cheaper. Except canvases and paint, you can get pretty low prices. The decorations, no. But they always have a sale on Christmas or holiday stuff, and I don't understand that because why would you have an original price if it's always going to be on sale? Why not just make the original price the sale price? Yeah, I think this is the sort of uh, an erected thing that we were looking at, Anna. I don't think it's, you know, traditional Hanea. No hobby stuff? I think there's a lot of hobby stuff. I see a lot of buttons. <laughs> Where is that bent Hanea you said you have in those samples? Oh, it's in the other sample. I'll get one. It'll be okay. I wanted to sort of get a good look at these first. If it's always cheap, you can't brag with discounts. Well, let's see with the sale, it's not cheap anyway. Except for the canvases. Do some micro things have wings? Uh, not algae. What's the smallest thing that has wings? There are a lot of really small things, but they're all insects, I think. Mm. Like how Nord at VPN is always 70% off. Now I want to know what that is. Nord? It's like security, isn't it? A virtual private network service provider. It has desktop applications. So it's like virus. Protection. Not very secure if a lot of people know about it, huh? <laughs> Anna said plankton, plankton, niella, soul. Because it plankton said pine pollen. Pine pollen has wings? Hmm. 
I think maybe that planktonella is more like a parachute than wings. It's close enough. Flies. Bats have wings, and they don't do the thing that birds do, where they soar. They just go. How do they go? <laughs> In New Zealand, they changed the pricing law, so now you can't have products on sale all the time. What? You can't have products you can't on have sale? A sale? Dude, I exist upon sales and goodwill. Wait, so does it mean they can't ever change like the prices of goods? Or? Um, it, you can't have products on sale all the time. Uh, so like it can't be like it's always on sale. You gotta just lower the price. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Make a machine that surprises everything around you? <laughs> 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 it's more privacy than security. VPN reroutes your internet traffic through different locations. But see... Yeah, pine pollen, it's more like an air sac, though. Yon, do you charge for ideas? Is that what you just did? Chlorgall? What? Who is that? Chlorgall? Chlorgall? That's a new name. At around the scale of fairy wasps, normal wings stop working. Yeah. That's a good name, Chlorgall. Heard some places can't have sales like buy five for ten. If you buy one, they have to give you the same price as if you buy five. That's crazy. Oh yeah, no, that's that should be normal. Is it, that's normal in... Like, grocery stores here do that. Yeah. They say, like, oh, you buy ten, get the price. But if you actually buy one, they still give you the same price. Yeah. It's just, you gotta get five to get the, the five. Oh, ones. it's part of the law. It's not part of the law. It's different. In, well, it in, might be law there. Yeah. You don't know where they're I from. I meant here. Oh. I don't know their law. <laughs> their, their bird law. I don't we know. don't know where, why, what four is from. We know why, and we know what for, but we don't know where. Who, what, what? Illinois, really? They used to be able to give you a different price if you didn't buy five. They do that in Florida still. Buy five, return four. But see, what they'll do then is the same thing they do at Kohl's, is when you return part of it, you they only give you a refund that's like the difference between what they would have charged you for one versus the sale price for two. You know what, Glockwell? I love microorganisms too. This is me when I see microorganisms because I love microorganisms. What is it with America and sales tax added after? I wish I could tell you, King. I don't know. All prices here include sales tax and advertising. Well, you know it's going to be uh, 7%. Wait, isn't it different? Like at a at like certain gift shops and like museums and stuff. I don't know what you're asking. Sales tax. Sales tax is always the same. Then why does it seem so much bigger? Like if you go to a shop. Well, if it's on food, they don't charge you anything. For food, doesn't have sales tax. That's not true. Yeah, it is. There's tax on it. There's tax on every groceries. meal. No, no groceries. Oh, I thought you meant like a I don't know like Fazoli or something. No, yeah, that's not good groceries. I haven't been to Kohl's in forever. I don't buy from Kohl's anymore. But if you go to a place that sells, like, merchandise, there's tax on all of it. What's thing, what are things that don't get taxed? Groceries. That's it? And it has to be, like, non-liquid groceries, too. Oh, it's okay. like beverages still get taxed. Oh. Hmm. different sales tax in different states, counties, and municipalities, so it's different depending on where you are. State sales tax are different. What's the highest sales tax? Ours is 7%. It's different from county to county. No, it's not. I think it's it? state level. That's why it's not included in the price. The sales tax could literally be five miles away. Mm, I don't think that's true, at least in Indiana, because it's always 7%. Mika wants to know if diatoms are always in the same shape across the world. What do you mean? Like, if it's the same species, 
Species should be in the same shape. I'll read it exactly. Are diatoms always in the same shape across the world? No, there's different species and genera that are only found in some places and not others. How much is the tax on diatom merch? Well, you can find out. <laughs> on Redbubble? Red yeah. Oh, yeah, you just hit the RB. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Give them the RB. But I didn't do anything. It didn't? You made me look like a clown. Did you put an exclamation point in front? Yeah, I did. No, RB, red bubble. Oh. See? Gosh darn it, Andalore. Andalore beat you. (laughs) They're not even like a moderator or anything. The sales, how did you mirror the B line? (laughs) Um, that's my French keyboard. That's my French keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch's compression really does not like these images. Huh? Which images? The image of me. It doesn't like my SEM images. Well, here you can go check out the Insta IG. <laughs> You just Whoa. wanted to, you just wanted to beat Andalore to something, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, this march is so cool for tardigrades. Max geeking. Oh Six yeah. Years. And then there's a big there's a paragraph up here. Glockel said, "I just noticed the particular irony in the name of this channel. It's called Diatoms Attack, and from my knowledge, is diatoms are not known for attacking. As well as the <laughs> name is likely based on the old movies with names such as Aliens Attack. Additionally, this fits because diatoms do appear." as something we might consider alien-like, hilarious and clever. Thank you. Is that really your mind, your pro- thought process? In fact, it is. Oh, okay. wow. I thought it was just, I thought you just, I don't know. I don't know what I thought. Oh, Del's over here going, Newt. Mama, you have a cart waiting? You should go get it. I think Let they mean on the, a cart on the Redbubble site. <laughs> Belly, stop. <laughs> I am loving the dad joke humor of Dr. Stone. <laughs> That's his prime material. Well, I am a dad, so... Oh, Grockle, it's... thank you for joining the Diatom Army. I've got to, uh... I've got to perfect my craft, you know, as a dad. Devil and Mrs. J is here. Hey, okay. how's it going, Devil and Mrs. J? Diatom's attack logo needs to be done with the word attack in all green and slimy cult horror style. Yeah! Newt Newt Nation. What is this? Oh, it's, uh, Odontidium. It's an Odontidium on its side. That's offensive. Why? Odontidium sounds like a, like an insult or something. You, like a you're odom tidium. Is the scan line the same as the electron beam path? Yeah, in fact, that is true. The line that you're seeing that moves down the screen is the actual beam scanning, and when it hits something, it gives feedback with respect to how many electrons are at that point that are pointed towards the camera. And so, um, like this side of the diatom over here is bright because it's actually facing the sensor. And so when the beam passes over it, some of those electrons, or more of those electrons by, by percentage, end up on the sensor. Mika said, that's a life serial piece. Mama Bonbon said it's a clutch purse. <laughs> <laughs> Would make for a nice clutch purse. It's supposed to picture my clutch purse. Nitropic is here, says hello. Hey Nitropic, how you doing? What's a Triscuit doing in this slide? Uh, it's waiting like for us to put a little cheese on it. Phil, <laughs> Philistine. Philistine? It says cool. Would you call me? He said cool. No, that's a username. I oh, 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 okay. What's a Philistine? I thought you were calling me a dirty Philistine. That sounds... What? No, what is a Philistine? I did go to Bible school. I uh, don't remember what it is. Philistine. Philip DeFranco, yeah, that's what I was searching. A person who is hostile or indifferent to culture and the arts. 
We'll see, so sorry. <laughs> so <mo> Are <laughs> they hostile? <laughs> Are they hostile towards our art? <laughs> so molecule colored grays is mostly determined by their shape and not for the oh, These aren't molecules. Yeah, they're way bigger than molecules. Composed of many molecules. What is this little thing? I'm gonna go make bacon and cinnamon rolls. But is that Pacific plankton? No, Del Maximum spelled it synonym. Synonym rolls? Like what? <laughs> Get it? Because a synonym is when you use like or as to compare things. But you didn't compare anything. No, it's not. A synonym is a word that has the same meaning. I, I meant to say simile. I'm so sorry, folks. Chlorgal molecules as in type of material. What? You spelled simile wrong. You can't tell me nothing. Chlorgal says molecules as in types of materials. Like he thinks that the different grades mean that they're different, made of Oh, no. Grades. Pretty much everything um, in the slide is made from uh, silicon. Their uh, diatoms are made of, they have silicious skeletons. There's a cool little Unosha. Look at that guy. Would you look at it? I look at it. Would you look at it? Yo, look this at stuff's it. dope. That in electron microscope. How big of a zoom is this dog? Uh, our current zoom dog is uh, about 7,000 times, but I can get a lot closer if you'd like. What up, Leia? Philistine, I created this username off the cuff. Don't hold it against me. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people have regrets about their name. Are you thinking about Joel Olstein? What? Philistine reminds me of Joel Olstein. Jan said it's a ditto. That's a, a ditto. That's a ditto? A ditto. From Pokemon? Mm -hmm. Chlorgall. So coplanar flat surfaces will always be the same color regardless of their material? Uh, in the secondary detector, yes. But um, there's two different detectors on my machine. And if we wanted to, we could actually have backscatter. And in a backscatter detector, uh, it actually looks at the density of the materials and compares those. So um, for those, we could get different grays based on um, the density of the material. But since we're just looking at diatoms and they're all composed basically of the same uh, material, there's not really any difference. So that it'll just end up like a flat tone um, if it's facing all the same plane. Yeah. Mika, he does know Pokemon. He's been studying. No, uh, I don't. Because I wouldn't have recognized it. I just recognized the name. So. Sylvia's obsessed with Pokemon. Yes, my daughter is obsessed with Pokemon. Do you know how many drawings of Pokemon I have? Four, but that's a lot. I feel like you could have more. I could have more. I feel like that's a low number. What? Mm. Based on how many get drawn. Based on how many I've asked for. How many Pokemon? <laughs> I haven't asked for a single one, but I got four. Did you know that... Uh, I like them, they're good. She's, she's getting really good at them, Chook, actually. Chook is drawing chicken Pokemon hybrids this month. That's terrifying. Is it? What was that noise? It sounded like somebody scooted their chair out in uh, Jim Spears' lab. She's drawing like uh, hybrid chicken, chukin, and uh, and Pokemon, Chukimon. Why do Pokemon say their names instead of having an actual sound? Like I know they're named after their sound, but that's so dumb. I hate it. Pokemon sucks. Who said that? Guacol said that. That's so negative, Guacol. But not false. Not entirely false. Not false, but still. You know, when my little brother, you know how when babies are little, you're like, and they're learning stuff still, you're like, what sound does a cow make? And they go, moo. And you say, what sound does a cat make? And they go, meow. Right? Sure. Yeah, sure. So we like to do that. And then um, one time I wanted to mess with my little brother when he was still little. And so I said, what sound does a shark make? And he just sat there for a minute and he's like, shark, shark. <laughs> it's so funny. I wish cows were named moose. They can be if you want them to be. Like, you can just call them moo moose. 
A muumu is not a cow. A muumu <laughs> is a beautiful piece of clothing. There you go. Um, I love my muumu. You have a muumu? It was passed down to me. <laughs> How come you never wear it? Um, because it's an at-home wear. I wear it when I'm getting ready in the morning. <laughs> I would wear a muumu in public. It's just like a cover-up. I wish cows were named moose. Muumu. Human, 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 human. <laughs> <laughs> human, 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 human. That I like well. it. That's good. Sharks make this sound. Sharks don't make a noise. They just go. I think they make a chomping noise. That's just a single pour on those. Hey, what does the fox say? Ring a ding a ding a ding a ding. Human, use mean gossip. It's super effective. Mika, who hurt you? <laughs> who hurt you? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Something between a dog and a cat. Maybe they make a noise, you just don't hear it. Oh, this is a really cool diatom. Rabbits rab rab. This diatom is Ori Simba. Rabbits go boing. Boing. This is a diatom you can only find in uh, the Himalayas. It's an example of a... In the waves? What? Waves? Himalayas. It's an example of a endemic diatom genus only found in the Himalayas. You know, it's a good song. Are you going to tell me? The baby shark song. That's, that's the light controller. That's not a song controller. Are you making me look bluer? I don't know. I'm gonna let's warm up your tone. <laughs> it was already warm. Night Tropics and a Pikachu. They have Pikachus? I guess. Diatoms look like filters. Diatoms are used in filters. Did I hurt your ears with the... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I forget the microphone exists. You were clicking the button next to them and it hurt their ears? It's, it's ASMR. Like that time when I whispered into the microphone? Oh no. We're starting this again. <laughs> the baby shark song is really good. Say what you want. It's good. I don't care. Those samples are in a vacuum. Yes, everything's in a vacuum currently on the scanning electron microscope. Uh, it's really the only way that we can have electron beams get to the sample effectively. They have to be inside of a vacuum. Rocket 1959 said the team is back. Were you born in 1951? 59? Why does it 51? Diatoms are used in filters, question mark? I thought they about how they could be used in filters because they look like filters. I should be a scientist. You should. Or you said a scientist. Diatoms are used in um, all kinds of filters. For example, uh, pool filters and also beer filters and wine filters. So uh, the material that they use in, uh, in, those sam in those sorts of things are composed of diatomite. What? Who said hello? Plants for learning techniques for image recognition, automatic categorization. That wasn't a word categorization and labeling of nanoscience images able to successfully classify around 90% of a test data set. What? Who's talking? Chlorgall. Oh, we read this paper. We talked about this on the stream in the past. Yeah, we talked about it in the past. It was 90%, but it was just one sample, and the sample had really low diversity, and also somebody had to train it. On TV, I saw a hedgehog-like animal that made sounds using the tooth-like organs at the back of their neck. You know, we kind of use tooth-like organs, and it's, I'd say it's pretty close to our neck. <laughs> How close is it to your neck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they can see you anymore. No. Allow me to present. <laughs> That's for my teeth, though. St. John said, beer and wine, now you're speaking my language. 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> diatoms are also used in dynamite and in uh, More like water diet. filters and uh, hand warmers. That material that you, you know, when you crack open a hand warmer and it keeps your hand warm, the inside of those are, are diatoms. Is it, are they mini dynamites? I don't think that they're mini dynamites. Can you imagine? I don't think that's how you warm your hands. Can you imagine breaking it and just go... Hedgehogs, porcupines can get in ground breaks. What a phrase. Uh, I don't know anything about porcupines, unfortunately. I do, yes. You do? <laughs> sure. Okay. Once again, check my credentials. <laughs> oh, Pacific Plankton, you have to go? Bye, Pacific Plankton. Bye, Pacific. I'm sure I'll talk to you later. You should check out Pacific Plankton's stream. She's streaming next on Monday night around midnight ish. Bye, Queen. I miss you. I love you. Say it back. Do you use image statistics or mostly manually inspect? Um, so for diatom, for describing diatoms and identifying them, you normally have to measure them. Uh, so there's a little bit of morphometric statistics that go into that, but I would say mostly we can just look at them, especially in the scanning electron microscope. Uh, you can just identify the features that separate many diatoms by their ultrastructure. You are <laughs> easily with you, a glove. Have you ever with like, a glove. Have you ever like You know those like uh, knife them? gloves that they have that are like chain mail? Hedgehogs aren't that pokey actually. My Corgall followed us. Thank I didn't see it yet, it didn't happen. Hold on. New no, new no. I didn't do Shout this. Shout out Corgall. Nice. Thanks. Thank you for the follow. Devil Mrs. J, what's with the grain? What? With the grain? Um, what was domesticated? Oh yeah, with the grain. Uh, they mean like when you pet the porcupine, pet them with the grain. Oh! <laughs> along the grain. Uh, yeah. like, Not yeah, against the grain. Uh, grains like wheats and stuff were domesticated at some point in human history. <laughs> not sure when, I forget already. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's not the grain she's talking about. How do you know? I know. <laughs> Because uh, I'm following along. <laughs> but yeah, no, if you just pet along them and they're not all poked out, then it's fine. You just go like that. How do you go? So I'm giving them an example on how to pet something. Glockle is better than Chlorgall. Glockle beat more mammoth than rival tribe member Glockle stronger, better hunger. Yeah, I like you two. I've been like mixing you up in my mind this whole time. Because they both sound like cavemen names. <laughs> <laughs> they're like they're in Game of Thrones or something like Khal Drogo. <laughs> <laughs> Bo hug a bee? Do you hug bees frequently? You just said cool. I love it when you when they just say cool and then they never comment again. <laughs> that's the funniest thing to me. Cool. Like, like that's tight, yeah. And they just leave. <laughs> yeah, and you got when if you say that's tight, make sure you just put T I T E. Tight. <laughs> tight. Yeah, tight. Blocko reminds me of that time I was arguing with the chat bot pretending to be a caveman and it kept trying to give me a lawyer. <laughs> for I've not need lawyer cave a simple place. <laughs> What's happening right now? Then when Mrs. J was LOLing at the green conversation. Travel of week. It said, I'm back, but hungry, so I'm going to kitchen. You just came here to say, I'm back, and I'm leaving. They wanted to tell you that they're butt hungry. <laughs> I'm happy for that, for you. Glockle's <laughs> comment was pretty funny, too. King Glockle. Glockle, do you stream? If so, can you please start wearing a caveman outfit? <sighs> Driver's license, no. What? What are you talking about? I hate it when, when people do that to me. So, somebody did something to you? I hate it when people send me, like, messages. You hate when people send you messages? 
Maybe don't get a phone. You get a phone that can't get messages. That's the solution. I hate when people send me messages and it's like something that you need to immediately do. Oh. My mom sent me a message like 10 minutes ago and she's like, send me your, a picture of your driver's license now. And I'm like, I'm not on my phone all the time. I'm not going to do it now. Um, I feel for your mother on this one. Well, I'm afraid. No, Having asked you to do something no. on, on your phone before. No, like, I mean like immediate and it's with a text message. Like, call me if you need it now. But don't leave me a text message and then be like, why didn't you answer my text message? I'm like, because I don't answer my text messages immediately. <laughs> Court not affect Grug. Murder is nature. Grug live in trying. Glocko, you good. <laughs> 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 Good, obey your mother. Boy. I always obey my mom. I did exactly what she said. I just saw it like five minutes later and she was angry at me. What if she needed it right away? I don't know. People should send Mallory's. If you send me messages with Pigeon, <laughs> what? we'll be best friends. I want a Pigeon message. You mean like a carrier Pigeon? Yeah. They don't have those anymore. Why not? Uh, we hunted them to extinction. That's, that's <laughs> awkward. Grog will bonk lawyer. You know what word I love? Bonk. <laughs> My mom always gives me a security question before we start texting. She wants to make sure it's me. What the actual <laughs> hell? I know. I know. What the I know. Heck? I know. My mom is so. <laughs> there, there's a. I know. Your mom's ready to live on a spaceship. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She's like. Validation code, please. You're like, you're, you're like frantically texting her. You're like, I mean, I've been kidnapped. I can't. She's like, security. She's like, she's like, what color is the sky? And you're like, oh, don't touch this mom. Please name your first four pets. In I order. Like calls. I, I prefer text if it's not immediate. I prefer calls if it's immediate because I want to, I want to like, be able to have the conversation and get all the details instead of getting it like piece by piece from a text message that annoys me you don't want a text that says your house is on fire <laughs> no i think i prefer a phone call preferably to the fire department before me oh what's happy this your mom is using new technology uh believe it or not older it's ori simba are again of learning things. that is ori simba add a sound to the incoming text from mom to have a particular sound so you know it's mom well, sometimes she and my sister go back and forth about the most ridiculous things. My sister is giving her details on how to buy the specific cat food that her, sis that her cat needs, except she says that her cat needs to drink from a cup, because and you have to be you have to drink from the cup, and then the cat will drink from the cup. So you need to do that. For the it's the strangest thing. I feel like I lost the thread of what's going on. I feel like that's when like, I turn my ball Once off. again. I prefer text. Yeah, if you want to... My problem is I don't text back and then people get angry at me. And I'm like, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. She always has the same excuse. No, it's because it's it is the excuse. I just, I used to be on my phone all the time. And I just, I kind of lost interest in like... I used to talk to people like 24-7 over text. But, uh, got boring. And I got older, so I kind of lost it with you. Boomer moment. Okay, Boomer. Jonathan says your mom's very old. <laughs> yeah, that's not cute. I mean, that checks out. <laughs> Can we start doing that? Can we have, like, code words? Not only that. Not only you have to have a security question, but, like, if we're talking about the bank or something, we have to say, like, did you go to McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> Passenger pigeon is extinct. Carrier pigeon is okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. I don't think either of them will get you a male anymore, though. Can't you just train any bird? Does it have to be a pigeon? You asked for a pigeon. What if you just got a well, drone I'll, bird? I'll take any bird, really. You want a bird to give you a message? Honestly, <laughs> like, yeah. You get, they have birds that, they're drones, but they look like birds, and you just tell them. No, I want a bird. Are you an actual bird? Yeah, I want it to peck me on the arm when it hands it, so I get, like, the full experience. <laughs> like, one of those hawk trainers, they hold their arm out, and the hawk is like, how do they do? Okay. 
Haha, <laughs> this reminds Glockle of time. Glockle, you're way too far into character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. When, when attack member of Blue Clothes tribe, many of him from tribe member came and threatened with danger, boom, rock. Glockle had to be in Metal Cave for a while. <laughs> Can I call someone for you? <laughs> Anyone? Maybe your mom knows that if she calls you, she won't get off the phone for hours. Oh my goodness. I love it when my mom, she, her, she got a card that like makes phone calls now. And so whenever she goes on even a five minute drive, just going like slightly across town, she'll call someone. She'll be like, hey, and then I'll like get into a conversation. She'll be like, okay, I'm at Target and hang up. <laughs> <laughs> she just, you're her entertainment yeah. while she's driving from home every, to Target. Every time I think she's like calling because she wants to talk to me and then she's like, okay, bye. Good enough. I got to the gas station. I'll call you on when I drive someplace else. She's like, I'll call you back later. No. <laughs> and if you fail the security check, she immediately calls the cops to say you've been kidnapped. Yeah. Is that what happens? <laughs> I'm really... I've heard her on the phone with her mom. I did not hear a security question then, by the way. Well, if she calls me, she can hear my voice and she like... What if someone's in person you? Wouldn't be hard. I don't know. But when I text, she'd be like, what's your fourth grade teacher? <laughs> what did she text? What did she text you? Don't tell us the answer. Just like, what, yeah. what would a question be? She just saved you one. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your fourth grade teacher? What is she? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I don't remember who my fourth grade teacher was. So. My fourth grade teacher was Mrs. Hurd. I don't use that as a security question, so you guys can't. Now we know. Hawks do not go claw. Yeah. Send her a condor, boys. Send me a condor, let me tell you what. What if it's a That's, crow? A, a condor is husband material. What's a condor? Huh? It's type of bird. I don't know what a condor is, but it sounded kind of It's the bird cool. with the largest wingspan in North okay. America. That's kind of tight. It could probably fly really fast, right? No. Sure. They fly very oh, okay. slowly. Oh. Fine, that's boyfriend material. Um, <laughs> They're pretty <laughs> hideous, actually. Well, that's kind of enticing a little bit. Ew! They are... <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of boyfriend you like. That's friend zone material. <laughs> <laughs> they screech. What would be husband material bird messenger? <laughs> my mom always calls me when she's driving and I hate it. I love talking to my mom, but I prefer it if she was calling me for like personal reasons rather than entertaining me. A crow training? Oh man, that would be cool. Hell. I hate talking with someone through the phone. It's awkward. No, I'm fine. A condor is hoping to do it. Take notes. <laughs> What's Whatever going on? Is lurking. Mr. Microscope Man is husband material. <laughs> yeah, he's, he is a husband. <laughs> did, you, did, you send, did you send Carlin a condor? Uh, no. What did you send her? When? A crow. She you send her thousands of crows every day. <laughs> We have a crow issue in our city, that's the joke. For anyone who doesn't know about the crow. It's not an issue. I'd say it's an issue. It's just where they live. Well, it's an issue if they like poop, and then they get their toxic poop or whatever everywhere. I don't think it's toxic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. I don't, I don't think that's true. There's so many streams over uh, crow poop. <laughs> it's a poop stream now. For sure. Where the crows there before the city? Hard to say. Yeah, that's a... No. I wasn't here, so I think they just like the tall buildings. I don't think that's true. First of all, <laughs> they sit on top of them, so yeah, they like them. I mean, what do you what do you know what they like? That's what I'm getting at for you, actually. I feel like I know what they like. They speak to me. Maybe they sit on the buildings. They won't so even bring you a message. What do you mean they speak to you? <laughs> hey, I found another or. Oh wait, I did. I found another Ori symbol. They're all over the place in this sample. Evolutionary factors of the anthropocene. Yeah, the men who pick the best crows to deliver messages. Their genes best. <laughs> we found out in a previous stream that Mallory's very picky. Now we know why. She wants a guy who will that's deliver it, that's it. bird messages that's to it. her. At least crows don't die to bomb you with their body like seagulls. Yeah. Um, why can the electroscopic, what? The electron imaging be made into color. Uh, why can't it? 
Um, is that it's the a question? Blank hand. So I think like they're asking how you color your images. Photoshop. Yeah, I just tint it with Photoshop colors. Oh, it said can't. Why can't they be known? Uh, because there's no light in the scanning electron microscope, and without light, there's no color. What's going on? Somebody <laughs> wants to be your husband? No, they made a clip about Condor's husband. <laughs> I need to stop saying words. My problem is, why people find me entertaining is because, I, I guess it's, I don't have a filter. I like to say things and then regret it a minute later. Most people like think about what they're gonna say and then say. Which is dangerous here. What about, what about, uh, what about, what about making an AI that adds color? I mean, it's going to be false color anyway, so, I mean, what's the, what's the benefit? I mostly color the images that come out because I think people think that color is more interesting than black and white, but um, there's no light in the SEM, so colors are all fake. Can your microscope do polarization? Well, polarization requires light, so... Mom no. said, let me blow your mind at Glockle. Black holes don't have colors either, yet you see images of them all the time. Boom. Boom. Glockle <laughs> said, no, I only saw one. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Got him. Gamecast doesn't have a filter either. Well, hold on now. You did see the black hole because there was an image there and there it was blackness, right? You saw the absence of the black hole because light doesn't escape from it. Are we going to have this argument live? Would you like me to? Are we going to talk about I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> um, Eleanor was witness to one of the most passionate arguments <laughs> Dr. Stone and I've ever had. I saw the black circle. See, you saw the black circle. It was there. It was a color. No. Yes, it was. It was not. Yes, it was. It was the absence of color. Black and white are colors. They are not. Colors. They are not. Black hole, I'm not a scientist. I just want to play my guitar. Let me ask you a question. If black and white are colors, is this a color photograph? Yes. Oh, it is? Yes. <laughs> oh, well, I guess then it sees colors in the no, SEM. No, it's, it's a colored photograph on this screen. What do you mean? It's a colored photograph on that screen. What do you mean? On that screen, there's colors there. Right here? Yes. The colors of the SEM, this image. No, no, no. Oh, there's the no color, colors. The color on the screen. Oh, that's weird. Black is a color on the screen. That's weird. No, so this a color is on a, the screen. This is a color photo. <laughs> Should be a way to measurement measure the wavelength and compare it to constant S, like a red rose petal versus a green leaf. They have different textures on their skin. <laughs> what did I just say? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Micah. Oh, so does this ever get awkward for you? <laughs> modem noises. <laughs> My brain is just modem noises. That's why I say that <laughs> shit. Delassi is here. Who's here? Del Lassie. Del Lassie? Said hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hello. Is Timmy in the well? Ha <laughs> 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 Black is the absence of light since it can convert to white. Why don't you guys try that old method of the primary filters? What method? Apparently, the old method. <laughs> you see stuff on the event horizon, nothing of the black hole. No. Uh -huh. If you look at a picture, it's black there. That's a color. It's the not a color. <laughs> the ancient method. Guys, <laughs> guys, what's some ancient methods? A blind man doesn't see color, he sees an absence of color. The last he said, I'm sorry, I'm French. I can't all understand. 
Aww. At the last week, I'll send you a nice message that you're sure to understand. In French? No. Should we switch to French? I said I love you. That's like a common phrase that people know, right? Je t'aime. What did you say? That? That phrase? Je t'aime. I sous Migor. Yeah, that's my name. I sous Migor. Yeah, you call me that. You call me Migor. That's for you. What phrase did you send them? <laughs> the last you said, I'm sorry, I'm French, I can't understand. I said, I love you, heart, and they just said yes. <laughs> did you send them, I love you in English? I, yes, I did. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe they were confirming that je t'aime is I love you. Well, I know it is. Yeah, because he, he speaks a little bit French. Can you communicate? I <laughs> say something else. What would you like me to say? Hello. Hola. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. That is hello. That's Well, it's a good day. Glaco. <laughs> it's 9 p.m. here. A bit late, don't you think? Gla wait, Glaco. Are from, you from New Zealand? Who's from New Zealand? I forgot already. 9 p.m. That's not New Zealand. That's where is Europe it? somewhere. I'm going to find out where you are. I'm going to find out where you are. It's somewhere in Europe. It's 9 p.m. somewhere. Amsterdam. Hamsterdam. Do you like the hamster dance? <laughs> New Zealand, 927. Oh, he says, he, he says he's not in Amsterdam. What? That is so good. She do be doxing you. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to this entire country. How are you gonna track down a man named Blockle? <laughs> There's so many of them. Bonsoir. I mean. <laughs> what are you giggling about? This is this is video of these people from the Umbrella Academy. I've seen that. They introduced for like a Zoom interview. Yeah. And one of them says, this is blah, blah, blah. And they're like, hello. And the other one's like, this is Robert Sheehan. And he's like, bonsoir. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna search for me on the entire time zone. <laughs> I'm actually gonna sprint across the time zone. Check for 030 GMT. See, you lost me with that. You gotta put me at the 9 p.m. Can you control emitted electron wavelength? Would that affect the color? Uh, what? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, why do we need color? I, I guess is the question I have. I think they're saying like if you change the wavelength of the electrons being emitted, would that make it like more gray or less gray in certain spots? But that wouldn't really matter because they'd still all be relative to each other. Well, the, same. the way that the skinny electron microscope works is that electrons that come off of the sample hit uh, inside the, this little chamber view, there's a, uh, a little like sewer drain kind of thing. And it's got a positive charge. So it draws the electrons towards it. And then when they hit it, um, they, there's a sort of a, a photoreceptor that turns that electrons striking it into um, a brightness for that spot. And the more electrons that hit, the brighter that spot gets. So there's no real, like, you know, what, what, what you're seeing is those spots being drawn as it scans. And so, you know, there's, there's not really a sense of color at all. Um, and it's not the fact that the wavelengths or anything else are going on. It's, it's about how it's made. So it's about how many electrons are hitting. That's how bright it is and how dark it is, is how few electrons are hitting. The last thing wants to know what we're looking at. Uh, these are diatoms. Can you type diatoms in French? Diatoms. I think it's diatomies. I'll get, I'll get a French translator. Hold on. I think it's got some E's on the end. They're a type of algae that leaves a silica skeleton. 
and we're looking at the skeletons. And these samples are from um, Mount Everest. Dry vacuum neon gas filtering the image before it is rendered or printed. I'm sorry, what? I don't think we need to do that. We're finally, uh, I don't know what we're talking about. I don't understand. I'm Gaia Timmons. What are you talking about? You're insane. Who's insane? I don't know. Glock was having like a odd. They're called Bacillaria fights in French. Oh, yeah. That's the. If you want, hey, Delacy, category. If you have questions, ask and I will answer. That's their phylum. Bacillaria phyta. What are they doing? Asking questions in French, and then you're going to Google Translate it? Mm-hmm. Okay. It'll work. They're, I guess we gave up on tracking down Galapagos. Anyway. We did? I don't know. I lost it. Too hard. Who a guy asked, what is this? Hold on. Diatoms. We are looking at diatoms using an SEM microscope. Those translations are pretty... Jan, do you speak French? Speaks all those languages. Crazy. I have a joke. How many diatoms does it take to change a light bulb? Is that your joke? No, that's that's Glockel's joke. Oh, okay. How many? Um, one. Yeah, they're pretty smart. <laughs> I did once ask the girl I had a crush on out in French because she was studying French. She said no. She said no. <laughs> Sorry, King. Aww. How quickly will diatoms populate new bodies of water, like the Great Lakes when they are made from glaciers? Oh, really quickly, actually. Diatoms can replicate several times in one day, and under really ideal conditions, up to eight times in a day. Um, so they can rapidly take over, colonize new environments. Um, but of course, they have. Uh, the environmental conditions have to be good for the diatom in order for that to happen. More typically, they probably replicate once or twice a day, at best. Thank you very much, Bill Lassie. You're welcome. Often, English speakers um, will place the burden of translation upon non-native English speakers, but I will try to make it good for you and help you out. You are welcome. We take all types. Now they're arguing about French. Reese's and pieces, um, Jonathan. I apologize uh, that you're asking a girl out didn't go well. But at least he asked somebody out. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> you gave it a college try. Yeah. You did great. It's the effort. That's Eventually, right. if you keep asking people, somebody will say yes. It's a good point. I don't. I don't like that. <laughs> you don't like I don't, that. I don't like no. You don't want to ask people out. I don't like it. It's okay, Miley. I agree. You got to put yourself out there. When it comes I down to it, I'm tired of asking guys for their numbers. They should ask for mine. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. where we're at. Yeah. Um. I don't like people who just ask anyone. Else. Well, yeah, you know, but... I like people who ask someone if they're, like, interested in them. Like, when someone asks you out, because they ask everyone out, and they're like, someone's eventually got to say yes, <laughs> I don't like that. You don't like the shotgun approach? <laughs> <laughs> I call it more the shrapnel approach. <laughs> shrapnel? I didn't mean, like, all at once, but, like, you know, you'll find somebody else, and then you, you ask them, and you keep going. I you just think that people should put an effort. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, you're into the effort. I don't ask for their numbers. I just find them on the internet. Little <laughs> one, one, two, cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Little chew. Hey, little chew. Welcome back. <laughs> little chew. Mike, me wants to know, so do diatoms sit dormant for long periods of time and they come alive again in new bodies of water, or is a chance for distribution from an aquatic animal needed? I'm going to guess little chew's dance cards full all the time, though. Um, 
Did you hear my question from Mika? No, what was it? So do diatoms sit dormant for long periods of time and then come alive again in new bodies of water, or is the chance redistribution from an aquatic animal needed? Both of those things are possible mechanisms for how diatoms can repopulate a water body. Um, they've fa actually run um, like plankton nets through the clouds, and they've found living diatoms in the clouds. Um, probably being transported, they're not hanging out up there, but they can insist, uh, E-N-C-Y-S-T insist, not I-N-S-I-S-T insist, but um, they, they can insist, and then as a result, they can um, sort of stay in that hibernation state for a very long time. And an animal, a person, a fish, something like that can cause them to be redistributed uh, or they could just be blown in by the wind because they're in this sort of uh, insisted state uh, and they can come right back to life from that insisted state so <laughs> what's happened yon said all right but i gotta go have a certain one and mika said have fun on your date with now <laughs> <laughs> anyway blackle uh, she wishes Bo. <laughs> well, maybe, well, Hugo B said, maybe you shouldn't date. We need smart people in this world. The dumb people are overpopulated and blah, 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 blah. It's much too straight. It gets um, bad towards the it gets, yeah, <laughs> I'll allow it this one time, but keep it, keep it to yourself next time. Um, did you just call me dumb? No, I think they were saying you were smart. No, you said maybe you shouldn't date. We need smart people. Oh, okay. Yeah, they did call you dumb. King! <laughs> Lofius Dragon wants to know if you have a water bear. I do, yeah. Plenty of them. <laughs> Stacks of them at home. Oh, um, do I have one on the scanning electron microscope? Sarah, yes, we could put one on the scanning electron microscope. We won't do it today, uh, but I could go... We have one over there on a slide that we could put on the scanning electron microscope. Man, y'all ever think about how lonely it is every night? Do I Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Dance Painter wants us to consider captions. Uh, you know what? You're right. It's probably high time we need we start you know, having captions. So I actually tried to put captions on okay. this machine um, using uh, a web captioning software, but because it's running an old Windows, basically, it's not letting me... Like, it will show up, but it just shows up as a black page. Um, I can do it from home, though. I can have the captions on my, um, my computer at home. Um, I've tried it, and it works well. Anna wants you... She's like, you never sent me a water bear. Who? Anna? Yeah. Was I supposed to send Anna a, a water pet, bear? A pet water bear. She said, I sent you my pet. She sent me slime mold. Oh, uh, I guess that's it. She didn't send me any water bears. Was I supposed to send her a water bear back? I don't know. Nice golden cap, I thought. Lophius Dragon, do you know who that is? Yeah, Lophius was here the other day. They asked a lot of questions. Today we're having a pop quiz on water bears. Now, class, can you tell me why are water bears important? Who isn't important? Right. Everyone's important. Glock <laughs> Glockle said, wait, this is a class I was barely paying attention. This is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Anna said you promised her a water bear. I did? To go back on your promise to Anna. I promised to send you a water bear or to put one on a microscope. I have a bunch of water bears. I this can send you a whole stick full of them. Sakara said this is like exploring a barren wasteland. A little bit, except for there's diatoms on it. And the slime mold holds their shape in SEM. We looked at slime mold. Uh, we looked at the spores only. We didn't kill any slime molds. <laughs> oh, you, oh, yes, there's a lot of new people here, so if you want to join the Discord and bother each other at a different time, perfect. Bother each other? Just like, you know, like, mess around, like, you're out with Hang out and chat with us, you yeah, mean? Yeah, hang out, that's the word. Sometimes Yo. I'll do little streams into the Discord channel, uh, either from my microscope or sometimes if I'm drawing diatoms, I'll do that into Discord. Worth, uh, worth checking out, and then usually my microscope buddies and some of the people who are here in the channel hang out 
and chat on Discord quite regularly. Back to our gaming guru, Sylvia. Yeah, they asked on Minecraft to stream. <laughs> uh, they asked for her to stream Minecraft? Just Minecraft in general. Well, uh, I'll try to talk her into it. You know, it's hard. She's got to, she's so busy all the time with the neighbor kids and <laughs> Pokemon and Loki. watching videos and... Loki is a upset. Of what? You have to kill a, a water bear. I really didn't good. kill any water bears. Uh, <laughs> the water bear that we put on the skinny electron microscope was already dead. Sylvia drowned her little chook. What? She didn't drown the little chook. The little chook can swim. Jonathan is being cast. Um, you can also watch other people go on microscopes as well. I just sent out our squad with other people on there. Um, a tiny world Pacific Franklin Dow open sentence area. It looked like it was waiting for its life. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's possible. It's a digital chicken though, so. I too am a digital chicken. You have a digital chicken? No, I am. You're a digital chicken? I am. Can you swim? A bit. Hmm. Loki's dragon said it looks like a burrito. Uh, I think somebody wants lunch. That's what that sounds like. Ah, I forgot to thaw the chicken breast. <laughs> Jesus. It's always the same thing. What happened? Oh, yeah. Chopcore said I need to go to bed. Bye and thanks for the interesting train. Bye, King. Oh, uh, thanks for hanging out with us. And we're glad you like it. <laughs> I'm going to uh, get rid of Eleanor after Wednesday. What? Because she's got to go home, right? I go home on Friday. Yeah, she means you won't be but you won't be any more streams. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll be so she won't be on any more streams until next year. I gotta drive <laughs> my step sibling home because they have to. You're kicked out of their dorm Saturday at noon. I guess. So you're not gonna be here on on Saturday next unless week. Unless they're down to sit in here. In silence. What? <laughs> Just drive them home. It's fine. Yeah. Well, I, I want to be here, but I'm sad. What are you sad about? Because I don't. I like living in my apartment alone, I don't know why. <laughs> you like living in your apartment alone? I like alone. living alone. And I'm about to go back home to a house of eight people. And a new cat. <laughs> it sounds great. I met you can hang out with your mom. one time, though. That was cool. Oh, really? Yeah. Did she shuffle them out ten seconds after you when met them? When did you meet my parents? I was walking on oh, the pick roll and you were like, busy. Eleanor! <laughs> I didn't say it like that, I said it with joy and... And, and, and life. I know, that's what I want. You were just like, oh, I was like, oh my god, it's Mallory. <laughs> Goodbye, Ellis, or wrote to be a brave astronaut. No, she's oh. coming back. She just, it's just we get sent home for two months. And yeah, I'm going on, like, back. Christmas break, basically. Yeah. I see Indiana as an affliction. What? Yeah, it is, sort of. Um, I'm looking at your Instagram, and I see diatoms that look like shreddies with a very well-defined girdle. Shreddy? Like a sh like a shreddy. What's a shreddy? I'm assuming she means like rice checks. Who is this? Sarah, Dan Tanner. Oh. That's it. she's Canadian. That's why. There's some sort of Canadian <laughs> word. Oh, you're Canadian. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> some people are just born with it. <laughs> I loved living alone, but moms are great too. Sarah, so you know I'm legit. Yeah. Um, I love my mom too, but I'm also not twenty four seven. She doesn't want me twenty four seven. Wait, is your mom watching the stream again? No. Okay. She's busy doing mom things. Trying to get people's driver's license numbers. Probably. I heard a thing called mud <laughs> dragons. It's a type of microbe. Do you know about them? Who's talking about mud dragons? Dragon. Oh, this, uh, Pacific Plankton is looking for mud dragons actually right now. Uh, she's um, she wants to find some. She lives near the beach, so for her that's reasonable because those are marine organisms, I believe. Uh, and I, I'm sure when she finds one, she'll send me, and then we'll put it on the scanning electron microscope. But I do know what they are. I don't think we'll see them in uh, freshwater systems, though. I did a shout out for Pacific Point. Do you can click on that link to the Bionic page. You can watch her look for mud dragons. 
Yeah, I think she. I think you need to sieve for him, so she's gonna have to do a, do something to sort of figure out how to get them. The last one says, "We're curious people. What is your job, everybody?" Okay. Um, the man is a scientist, and and he's a professor. Did you just call me a man? <laughs> the man. I'm just being referred to as the man now, <laughs> apparently. I don't I don't know how much English they understand, so I wanna make sure they understand. Got it. Oh so I'll give them a minute. When you type a whole paper, do you have to say all the words while you type them? <laughs> I'm just checking. You're so a I'm a professor. You're not a professor. And you in the chat? Oh, she wants everyone in the chat. Or they want everyone in the chat to introduce yourself. Everyone? Yes, everyone. Everyone? Um, Her well, chat's got 35 people in it. Well, come on. You don't do it. Uh, speaking of which, it's, um, it's getting close to 4 o'clock, and I need to get going. So... We should probably find somebody to raid. Turtle. When are you gonna... You could dictate. I'll dictate who. Oh, the, the stream? What is PLC? Mika. Oh, the reason we what can't hear PLC? anything is because Amos turned the volume down on this thing. I was wondering how it was in Hanea. Uh, yeah. No pics of the other Hanea, Anna said? Uh, I didn't find any in these samples. Uh, just if well actually I found one or two, but they don't look really bent. So um, I'll have to make some more samples from the from the Himalaya stuff and get some good images. We need to find a person. I won't really see anybody. Do you have a picture of a diatom or a water bear I can draw? Um, there's pictures online. Yeah, hit the Instagram button for them. I don't know. IG. Didn't they just say they were looking at those? It was, it was Sarah that asked that. She wants to paint one. Wasn't she just looking at the Instagram page? I don't know. Oh. We don't have any good pictures of water bears because um, we're still working on finding out ways to preserve them properly for the SEM book. Programmable logic controller, it's a computer meant specifically for automating machines in factory settings. Whoa. Well, does anybody in ha chat have uh, suggestions for places we could go to raid? Because it's getting to that time of the day yeah. where we need to move on. Um, I say the turtles. I'm not raiding turtles. Dells. Yeah, Del's not here. Mm. I mean, he's not on. We can go watch Kitten Pan. Another cat pro, a cat profile recommended. <laughs> that. Kitten Cam. Yeah, what? Yeah, what's the Kitten Cam's name? Why can't we be kittens? It'll give them a couple minutes of joy, and then they can go about their day. That's fine. I guess we don't need to spam the kittens with emotes, though. If you all find me good sciencey things to draw, well, again, I will plug the Discord again, as I've done like ten times because I don't know why she's doing it, but... Um, she really wants to talk to you outside of the stream, and she does that through Discord. Oh, yeah. Well, we just... People post pictures or edited photos in the on one of the channels, and so if you really want pictures from him specifically, you can either I have go lots on Instagram of or that one. Yeah. Or you can hop on Discord, I suppose. You, you'll allow it? I mean, I can send you some pictures through there. A force multiplier in a diatom attack. No one has any ray ideas. How long is this stream going to be? We're ending it yeah. uh, right now. We're We're finding some artists. We're I see the, the kitten cam, and no one else is coming up with any ideas. I think no one's on right now. So you think kitten cam? I'm thinking kitten cam, because then they can look at kittens, calm down, and then go to sleep. Be tucked in bed like a little... Oh, we like can raid mess. Sarah Dance Painter. She's going to she's gonna have us... Uh, she's going to switch over and start her stream. Are you going to dance? 
You know, I paint too. So does Did you bring one. your uh, painting? Good painting? Did you bring your painting? No, it's I. My bag is still unpacked in the middle of my living room floor. I just went home and I just crawled onto my couch and just laid there with like five pairs of socks on for like three hours. <laughs> Cold toes. You should try putting a scarf on. Makeup doesn't count. Anna's voted for kittens. Jokes on you guys. I can't do makeup anymore. Okay. <laughs> I did my makeup for the first time in a long time last Wait, time. I guess we can read Sarah Dance Painter now, because she's live. Sarah Dance Painter, she dances and stuff. Great read. Oh, hey, King. Can you paint the diatom samples? And does this show up in this SEM? I do not understand the question. Like, paint a micro kit? You yeah, can we can anything. we can paint them, of course. Can we have a painting stream? You know how you guys wanted to have a book club? Instead, we should set up cameras with like canvases. I said that like um, like that one like that one guy and it's always like, I'm the trash man. I just I just eat trash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now, but, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, we are gonna go raid Sarah, the dance painter. And uh, I want to thank everybody for hanging out with us today. And we had a bunch of uh, fun conversation, of course, as always. Uh, a bunch of new follows. Korgal, Guapel, we got a raid from P-Chops. We got uh, OG Big Boy, Lord Chronicus. OG Big Boy and uh, also gave us cheers, which was awesome. Bagel Rabbit, who you should check out. Plays some viol electrical violin. Uh, we got a kid girl 91 and a dog barks and uh, do lassie uh wi-fi demon uh yance raided us with a party of one we got a first and last name for a follow so i want to thank all those people i also want to thank uh um mallory and eleanor and now we're gonna raid so we'll catch you next time It's like a reward. <laughs>